21 12. Seventy one out. Twenty one thirteen. Seventy one twenty five. Seventy one twenty five. Clear report. You can put us on an investigate at the same location. Copy. live on patrol uh, so glad you could join us we're over on the east side we're southbound on maryland right now or pardon me southbound on white bear just uh off of maryland we've been looking for uh, a silver sedan that was involved in a couple issues today most recently just threatening four, we're on scene the numbers one more time glad you could join us my partner pat no, scott no, no, no. is with us and uh Tonight, uh, a couple little changes of pace, um, you know, and all the other 30, 30, 30 segments you've seen, I've been in uniform tonight. Tonight, we're going to try to sneak up, be a little sneakier tonight, so I do not, I'm in plain clothes tonight. I do have a sheriff's star there, but uh, part of the reason is we went to some of the homeless camps to help them with some uh, food and just a little bit before we uh, before we went online and it's just a little bit softer attire the softer attire is a little more easy to break people down and give them a little conversation and we'll be maybe we'll be able to sneak up on some stuff tonight so thanks for joining us um before you forget i mean it's going to be a very busy night there's been uh, several shots fired calls around town a ton of people out on the street. Football's back in swing there. The uh, high schools are playing. People are out and about. Uh, so before you forget, if you wouldn't mind, share this video with your friends. Um, and just let them know that we are on live. It's going to be a, should be a really, should be a really good night to join us if they've never done before. And that's, uh, that's a prediction based on nothing but 40 years of instinct. Exactly. My partner, Pat, isn't talking much right now because before we started, we both uh, we had to get something to eat. And we were on the east side. We didn't have our classic choices to choose from. So <laughs> no, we didn't. We did go to McDonald's. Go to McDonald's. I only do McDonald's a couple times a yes. year, but uh, when I do, it's... Well, they got universally, it's agreed upon, they got the best fries. Oh, right? absolutely. Right. Which... With, with, by, reporting six people physically fighting in front of the address of a new caller stating several of them are going into a brown house across the street. So that's 1511 Sherburne. That's over on uh, University and Snelling area. We're over on the east side at... Third, third, and White Bear. We're headed westbound on Third Street. But just before we came on the air, St. Paul Squad was attempting to stop a silver sedan on Maryland yeah, Hazelwood. Peter, there's going to be a female left in a white Nissan. Had no plates, the and they lost it. It fled, and they did not pursue Pape beyond White Bear Avenue. So, 
we're going to stop, try to stop everything out here without a plate because most of these carjackers are taking the plate off their car. All right, Pat, you through with that French fry? I'm, I'm just about just done. Just about here. done well. Close enough to done. Close enough. So you're early on over there, two or one? I'm on one. Okay, I'll go two. We'll put this one on three. For those of you that haven't uh, joined us in the past, um, we're patrolling the city of St. Paul. Um, I have that pleasure and honor of being the uh, Ramsey County Sheriff. St. Paul is about half of the county. There's several other jurisdictions in the suburban, northern suburban area. But St. Paul certainly has the highest frequency of calls. And uh, we're the St. Paul's the sister city to Minneapolis on the other side of the Mississippi River. A little bit smaller in population. So the, our county has, oh, I don't know, 550,000 or so people. Maybe it's even higher now. I'm kind of partial to this side of the river, though. Yeah, well, it's especially lately. Jeez, they had about the 67th homicide over there in Minneapolis the last day or two, huh? A very violent year over there. It's terrible. Of course, the protest last night, for those of you that are with us yesterday afternoon, the protest last night was very peaceful. There were no arrests. That was all good, but unfortunately, we have to prepare for any, any contingency. Right. So we're, we're uh, westbound on 3rd Street. Just passing Hancock here. Just kind of has a feel in the air that, in addition to it having been busier earlier, it just, just have a feeling it's going to be a busy night here. Mental health, we're upstairs in the front bedroom. Happy. So if you don't mind sharing this, uh, you know, to, to keep to keep doing this and, and you know, making sure that we're continuing to reach people that haven't seen us before, we need your help in having confidence enough in, in what we're doing to, to share it with your friends. Three and two. Someone was asking Hello, about uh, encrypted uh, or, ooh, radio way. transmissions. On this side of the river, uh, Ramsey yeah, County, yeah. The, none of the departments yeah. have yeah. encrypted yeah. patrol yeah. channels. Yeah. They do have some encrypted specialty yeah. channels, like narcotics and special investigations units, some of the SWAT operations are encrypted, but... Uh, for Go patrol, ahead. no, we're not encrypted over here. So if you didn't know, we have uh, three channels in St. Paul that we try to monitor and then three channels in the northern suburbs. Uh, so six different frequencies in Ramsey County that our cars are dispatched. Well, there's a call right across the street. 1090 Burns Domestic. Husband went to the bar. Probably right here at the sports bar. Probably. She's worried that when he comes home, it might be domestic. Those are tough calls. We can't really uh, enforce the possibility of someone coming home and having a domestic. So we're at Old Hudson and um, Earl here, the Mounds Park Sports Bar. Those of you that have been with us before, you know it gets busy here. The saloon is open here. We'll see if we can engage a little conversation. Hello. How you doing? How's it uh, going tonight? All good? 
Oh, peaceful. <laughs> we are. We are. We're all. We're all yeah, brothers and yeah. sisters. In the eyes of the Lord, we're all brothers and sisters. What about Allah? Allah, well, well, listen. There's only one God. There's only. There's only one God. There is not only one God. Who? Did you know that the 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 Muslim God of Allah, and you know that the. Abraham was in both books, right? Abraham's in in all three. Christian, Muslim, and Jewish. I got them, I got them same lights on my go-kart, though. How do you know them are real? Oh, you don't. <laughs> you oh. never know. This is a go-kart. This is a go-kart. Do you have one of those? Do you have one of those on your go-kart? <laughs> have a good one, guys. Uh, we what? We have a debate. A debate? We have a good debate. About religion. Oh, we have a debate about religion. What's your shirt say there? When it, when in doubt, work it out. Yeah. Let's have a debate about religion. Did you really pull up here to talk about God? No, no, you brought it up. He brought it up. He brought no, up Allah. He, he brought up Allah. He brought up Allah. He brought up Allah. You sure can. God, God by any, God by any name oh, is still God. Yeah. That's why I don't understand. Pascal, you still out here, man? Oh, still out here, man. Bob What's going on? How you doing, man? It's all love, man. Is that Bob Fletcher? Yeah, that's Bob Fletcher. I didn't even recognize your punk ass. Well, I probably look a lot fatter and older than I used to. Fatter than older. We're all older. You know what? You This dude is a legend. Like, he's a jump out of trees. I was ready to go home. No, my dad worked at Willis. Come on, man. I don't trust him. You shouldn't. Who's your dad? Exactly. Who's your dad? My dad is Louis. Louis. He, he just oh, passed. Uh, hey, well, he just, uh, he just, I just retired number just one in um, seniority from the bus us. company 70. And now you know Bob Fletcher. God bless him. Hey, yeah, Pascal. I really know Pascal. This is my. You're scary to me. <laughs> you're more scary to me. Good. Oh, this Good. is. Hey, love you guys. Be safe, man. man. Be safe. Love. You too, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, we ain't got no mask on. Last night, my brother. Sorry. Hey, call it, call us when you need us. I'll never call y'all. <laughs> Take care, man. There you go. Well, that's community engagement. First, a uh, woman wasn't sure, but once she, once her friend knew who we were, <laughs> <laughs> and it was definitely in my younger days when I was jumping out of trees. <laughs> well, you, your whole crew there, Bergron, Berg, you when you uh, Hus, Husbeck, Hoskin, Carter, when they, you guys were working the beat, when they were the, working the beat down there. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did technically jump out of trees, to be oh, honest. Oh, we did a lot of jumping out of trees. Trying and, to stop drug sales. And out of the bushes and everything drug else. Drug sales. And, I don't know. It seems like a lot of years ago. A lot of years ago. Might want to... I got to... What do we got? Increase my text size. There's something we might want more information on. On Ray Street there or where? Right there, yeah. Might want some more information on that. See you later. I don't know if we can get there. No, I just. I'd like to. Let's see what's happening over here at Mounts Park. I'm going to you know where that a place is? in Central. Oh, I don't know where yeah, that is. Jackson and Apple. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your old hangout, you and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> There's all sorts of different kinds of hand sanitizer. That one has I'm aloe in it. I'm trying to. What the heck is that? That's a really fast motorcycle. Whoa. That somebody is racing on the freeway.
That's a lot of cars. We've got. Where are they? They're go I think they're going uh, westbound. Yeah, I think, think they are. Westbound 94, there had to be. Holy smokes, that had to have been 50 cars. It, what the heck? You heard that. We're just right, we're by the retaining wall here. That sounded like an airplane coming by us, didn't it? Yeah, that was unreal. Jesus. You think it just could have been some big trucks? No? That was all cars and motorcycles. Well, we should go down the mound, see if they exit there before they hit the turn. Right. So anyhow, we're westbound. Shepherd Road, drag bikes racing. That's where they came from probably, huh? Yeah. I suppose I bet they came down Shepherd to Warner Road, then came back up 60. Oh, I'll bet. I'll bet. Hop down right there. Because there were some serious flanking points. You gotta keep tabs for me here. Right. Well, there's another one. There just comes some more. Let's sit on the bridge and see if we can catch any of the trailers. Stand by. Because they were really flying. sticks on your hands after you're done, though, doesn't it? Well, I picked a bad one, I guess. No, no, I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It smells like, uh... Jesus, Grim, you can, you can still hear them down They're there. They're still going. I don't think I've ever... And some of them apparently made it down to Wabasha in our racing. Wabasha Street? Yep. 84 Wabasha. Okay, well, let's go down there and take a look. Clear. Well, we're headed into downtown St. Paul on the 3rd Street Bridge. Westbound on 3rd Street, you can see the See the uh, skyline in the distance there? 84 Wabasha, that makes me think they're headed to the island. Yeah. Probably right. And we know how to get there the back way now. I didn't even know those uh, apartments down there off of Robert and Fillmore existed. Those are some nice looking places down there. Yeah. Well, we got any intel on any other crime there? I know you mentioned uh, on day shift. We only we only had about a third of our viewers on day shift. You want to go over what uh, happened with those Jay, what cars we were looking for? So. Oh yeah, the uh, that Lexus we were looking for, that Lexus SUV has uh, has been recovered. So we're not looking for that anymore. That was the uh, one that was carjacked off of Milton and Fairmont. And then did a pistol whipping of a woman and a robbery over on Luella Street off of uh, White Bear and Old Hudson. So we're not looking for that anymore. Um, 
not sure. I believe the uh, Traverse is still out Bravo and about. Three, five, zero, but there's no plates on that dark gray Traverse. And the uh, the uh, Nissan Rogue we chased a couple weeks ago has not yet been recovered either. Although the suspect in that has been recovered. The suspect is no deceased. longer no longer with us. In that particular matter. Right on Fillmore and then kind of wind around through the apartments. Or did we get through there from the back side of Comcast? Is that or not? No? No, I don't think so. That was a Yeah, it'll take us through the apartments and everything, I believe. Or was I supposed to have you turn the other way? Well, hmm. I think I usually do turn the other way, but... Maybe it was off of Wabashon, Phil. I think that is. Yeah, Wabashon. I think it is. But they did, they did go through before. We did go that way before. But that road was not... Uh, Oh, and we can get there from the Comcast way, I think, too. I like, I like this way. We'll hear him anyhow. So we're on the west side of St. Paul. It's called the west side because it's on the west side of the Mississippi River. But it's actually south of St. Paul. Oh, I hear him now. I hear him, yep. The question is, where are they? Maybe down on Shepherd? Here are some street racers. And you know, a lot of times my son Bobby comes with me, you know, and, and when we were out of school and he didn't have to be in school, uh, He'd come patrolling with me, but you've been my partner since. But I want to tell you, my son, right now he's at home watching, I hope, you know. Right. And he's with his friends from the Moundsview sophomore football team. They're having a little bonfire and watching the uh, watching the varsity at the house. So Nice. You know, it's really, a, all those guys came over. I'm just telling you, <coughs> Andrew, Jack, Sam, Caleb, Bobby, Bryce, Andrew, Abdullah. Good luck in your game tomorrow. They got a game tomorrow at uh, noon. They got to they gotta be there at 10. They had a big carbo load up tonight at their high school uh, earlier tonight. And... Um, just looking forward to watching them in their first game tomorrow. So nice. I've known those guys for ever since they were little. You guys, awesome group of kids. If uh, I'm not sure how much longer you'll be watching there, sit home. But you never know what's going to happen down here. We're going to go on Raspberry Island, where a lot of the racers are hanging out. We're just kind of underneath the Wabashaw Street Bridge here. Got a few cars down yeah. here. They're not racing right now, but I think they're probably over on Shepherd, huh? Yeah, these don't cross the river. Most of these, well, there's a couple race type cars there. Moundsview High School varsity team lost their game tonight, but it's a, it's a season like no other seasons when you got to practice during COVID protocol. We'll go down to 
down to that parking lot here. And oh yeah, it's full. See how many racers we got. <coughs> Racers here either. No. Not tonight. We see there are a lot of racers down here normally, but usually they're in this lot right here. We got a scooter brigade going on here. <laughs> We're gonna see where we can get a scooter. Last one. You guys know where there's a scooter? What is it? You guys know where we can get a scooter? Green five. <laughs> <laughs> is this a scooter hangout or what? Clear five. Let's take a huh? Is this where they, you guys are just having a good time? Everything's safe down here? Looks like fun. Did you see any racers down here earlier? Yeah. Car racers. Yes, I have a copy for right there, yeah. no. Did you hear him on Shepherd? Did, did you hear him across the river? Uh, we're looking for him. So, make sure you don't exceed 60 miles an hour on that scooter. <laughs> Good night. Slowed down the fast, huh, Pat? Yeah. Shocked. I think it's the calm before the storm. I think so. Let's see what we got going here. Let's see if we can strike up a little combo there, Patrick. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. You guys see any of the racers out tonight? Like car racing? Yeah. Did you hear? Did you hear them on Shepherd Road a little while ago? They were flying, man. <laughs> Well, you look like you're having a good night. It's a beautiful one. Bravo Take care. Bye-bye. Bravo 61, have a good night at 21.40. Well, you know, as many times as we run into those racers, I'm betting one of them knows where we're at. I'll bet so. So, that's a problem. So we're gonna head back up, back into downtown. Doesn't see much here. They move pretty good on those little scooters. Yeah, they do. Micro. I think I heard the top speed is like 15. Really? Zip like along pretty good on a scooter. I'd, I'd hurt myself. A lot of people face plant on those things. They forget to let go of the handlebars when they're falling. All <laughs> right. Back to the east side, you think, for a while, or? Yeah, or. Uh... Oh, yeah, let's go up there, good idea. Let's see if there's a, I'll see if there's a vehicle description. Point 
Genesee are clear. Oh, there's Whistler. Okay. Good. Put me on board, please. Post is 14831. I just got rear-ended on eastbound Kellogg in front of the courthouse. Delta Whiskey Kilo 639. Oh, my goodness. One of our deputies got, got rear-ended. Is there another road concern? Oh, poor guy. I was just texting him. Oh my goodness. Strike three, we got it only. Strike three, we got it. Strike three, we got it. Oh yeah, he got nailed. Two and eight. Two and eight. This will be cleared, S and R, and then also that dangerous condition off of Wabasha is going to be COA, and then send us a pending. What happened for Mike? Well, uh, is there a lights? Are they coming lights and siren? You should tell them you're code four because. What the heck? Is she uh, sober? Is she sober? Okay, Joe, one for a safe and silver card that can assist Yes, it is. Hey, Joshua, how are you? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the first time we've met. Yeah. Negative on silver. <laughs> now, is that the electric bike? Okay. It is electric, though? Oh, okay. Wes, you okay? Go ahead. It looks like there's about seven or eight cars on that traffic stop on Kellogg. Nobody else in the middle. Copy, enough help on the Kellogg call. Okay. Apparently a safe and sober car or towards zero deaths, which is the TZD, the uh, safe and sober DUI cars, was requested to come down here. Uh, All right. <laughs> Take Take care, Joshua Jackson. Yeah, nice to meet you again. Likewise. <laughs> You're fat, huh? Yes. Are you going? I'm Whitey. Whitey? Yeah. I'm right. a tin cups. Oh, okay. I know, Bob. I watch you guys almost every Friday. I lay in bed watching you guys. I just I, I can't go to sleep till you guys go home. <laughs> Did you work down here? Huh? Did you work down down here? I work for Public Works. Oh, okay. I just saw the, I didn't see it happen, but I just saw you help you guys out with the arrows, and also all these guys show up. Appreciate that. I my arrow board on. I thought these guys all pull up behind me. I'm like, oh shit, they better get out of something I didn't. I didn't want to get into. <laughs> This guy got hit or? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 
I even thought that earlier. I'm like, shit. Why? Because I work normally during the day, working a double because the guy took the day off. So I'm working until 11. I'm like, I ain't going to be able to watch Bob. I watch when I get home. You guys will be out there at 2 or 3 o'clock. Oh, yeah. You know, how late you work? 11. 16 hour day. Downhill from here? Yep. Just got a feeling it's going to be a busy night. Uh huh? I got a feeling it's going to turn into a busy night. Just has that feeling. Yeah, well, mine started uh, your pavement down here today. And then uh, I go in with my dump truck. I go in the, our back gate is on Front Street. Straight through Teddy's so. And uh, Black Panther's out there. Hey. Their gate blocked off. Hmm. So you got an error? Oh, you. Yeah, I got an error. Oh, yeah. God bless you. You can clear my call advised. Well, we got to give a shout out, shout out to you, Whitey. Whitey from Public Works Bob, put up doing? his uh, arrow here to cover the traffic. Right back with y'all. What's that? Oh, yeah. I got him. <sighs> Call Don Rindle. So now we're waiting for a uh, one of the county patrol squads to come out down here to handle the accident. Hi, Pat. How you doing? <laughs> I was looking forward to running around tonight. <laughs> I think we'll still be in the game here. Yeah, that just didn't break your lights or anything. Haven't confirmed this yet, but it appears the uh, the other driver is not under the influence. So this will just simply be uh, written up as an accident report, which can happen to any of us. Right above Shepherd Road here, and haven't heard any uh, any of the racers anymore. They must have gone on to a different location. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Suspect is a Robert Stein, white male, in his sixties, five foot ten, average build. He's wearing a hat and a blue denim jacket with a long gray beard. Copy. And this is just another tenant, not the victim. St. Paul has quite a yeah, number of pending to... calls in their queue right now that uh, at this point we are unable to assist on. 
Fortunately, nobody was injured in this accident. A relatively minor fender bender by uh, today's damage standards. County Emergency Communication Center dispatchers are doing their usual standout job, putting the calls out. Nothing of uh, nothing of note. Just a little fender bender there. Um, sadly, the driver of the other car was just returning from the chemo chemotherapy. One seven three. And um, I wrote a supplement on this, and I'll be you at the end. Great job. Four four three nine eight eight nine ten ten. Seven eight. Twenty one sixty four. Distracted. There was some food on the seat there. Looked like she may have been eating as well. The time. But the car is not really drivable. Oh, that's too bad. I didn't see. No, I didn't it see hers. It didn't, I don't know how that happened. It didn't have much damage on it, but the front right wheel is not straight. How are you doing? Good. Good, thank you. What are you guys up to? You guys want to raise? We're, we're just seeing what we can get for the for gallon. This thing. We've been going around the city all day. Grab drink 43. Really? What is it? Oh, it's a uh, Prius? You want to raise? Take care, you guys. So the woman was pretty upset. We will be at Jackson and they both traumatized by us. Six three five one your echo X ray. Actually can you change the location to Maryland and April. So we got a couple calls going on here. I don't know, Pat, if you want to read them off. Yeah, there. we got a 211 East 7th Street. I think that might be the uh, speedway. Got uh, a comp and a verbal argument. Might have been assaulted and bleeding. Speedway, but, I think, it's on the even side of the street. Oh, so. I think you're right. 380 Jackson, uh, male refusing to leave the property. Shots fired at three at three ninety five of the well again. It's an apartment there. Let's check out the Jackson one first. Sure. I don't know. Three eighty Jackson. I hear some yelling. I hear some yelling behind us there as we turn this corner. The sound of anger. It's probably right there. It's probably the apartment too. 
You hear it? Yep, right there in that apartment. There's a lot of fighting going on. What apartment number is the call? Check that out. I was going to watch that window for a minute. Yep. We can, yep. We can see. Uh, can you check? Can you check out the apartment number on the call? Just make sure it's the second floor apartment, because then we'll know we got the right one. Don't. Yep. Looking for the apartment number here. Is that is that two? Is that going to be two eleven? I think so. Yeah, right there on the, on the door. Hand me, yep. little, hand me a little flashlight, will you? The heck? Come in. Is that 211 dispatched yet or not? 280. Secured building. Any way to reach the complainant? I see that. Okay, thanks, Mike. 187. 187. Now one on my phone. Somebody just came out the door. With a dog. Yeah, I mean. It's not that one. 188 wants to check the area. That's good. Talk to the copy. We're going to have to go up there. 188 copy. 2400 will be out at 211 7th Street. You can hear a lot of yelling from the window up above on 2nd floor. Happy to go to the apartment 214. We can advise when we get up there. Happy advising 59. Two seven three, hill traffic. Code four. Capital four, traditional one. Bravo one zero two zero two. Captain, good night, traditional one. Twenty four hundred. I don't know if you have a car coming, but we could use one here. Are you cut for? A negative. Happy East Coast, this is 211 7th Street, number 214. I'm calling it 10 2 till cut for. Fire 3 2, I'll be out of luck. Happy to copy.
I'll be clear, send me 211 Street. Try to you. Twenty-four hundred seven in the update. 2400 check-in status. Come on, 532, check-in status. 532, check-in status. I don't know how I got Five three two, unable to copy. We're not quite four yet, then. Copy. Not quite four yet, holding the ten two at twenty two oh four. She may have a knife in the apartment. No guns that she knows of. She's out of the apartment. She's in the apartment still. So. Copy for an update. There may be a knife in the apartment at 2206. Three, five, We're just about to get off the elevator here.
Trying to make contact in with the suspect. He's in apartment 214. Deputy yeah, attempting to make contact with suspect in 214, holding the 10 to 2208. 273. 273. The suspect was throwing stuff out the window, so just FYI. Deputy okay, suspect was throwing items out of the window at 229. Copy, code 4 one in custody, can't sing the 10 2 at 22 9. Two eight zero stages medic. Copy at 2210. Two seven one. Did you start medics earlier? Adult female, conscious breathing, having a panic attack, and she also has some cuts to her foot. Happy starting at twenty ten. In two eight zero, we have ours in custody. He's got blood all over his arms and hands, not sure from what he'll... Happy, do you need two medics? Yeah, it's going to be up to them. I think it's superficial. Happy. That was interesting. That was your classic domestic. And just if you're wondering, Pat and I are 100% okay. Never really had any danger outside of a very angry man, right? Yeah. Pat? So we don't think we needed this much help, but it was nice of them to send all these cars. He looked a lot bigger from down on the from street the through the window than he was well, he, in person. I'll tell you what, he sounded big. Jesus, <laughs> throwing stuff around. I don't think anything, I never went in, but I don't think anything in that part, apartment is unbroken no. from what we were hearing outside. Yeah, yeah, he's throwing stuff at her, punching her. But thankfully, when we got up there, she was already out of the room. Right? Exactly, or we would have had to deal with it differently. As long as he was in there by himself. We had time. We, yes. So we used the time. That's the thing about it. We used the time. Maybe my friend is working at Allery's tonight. There's a lot of heavy breathing up there. I don't know, that was a, that was a potential COVID exposure there. Yeah. 
So anyhow, thank you for those of you that were worried about us. That was a mess. She was not seriously injured. Well, she got a, she had a cut. They both were cut. He was bleeding too. From the glass, From the uh, lamp. lamp he broke. He threw it at her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what the end result was on that shots fired over on the well, huh? Maybe we can get an update on that. But it's good we went there. Because things were going down hill. Yes. Yeah. Very, very fortunate she was already out of the apartment. Several neighbors alerted us to the problem on our entry, too. Yes. Everyone we ran into in the building. Strangely, one, one on. of the residents came down to let us in because he was watching the feed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he saw us arrive and came down to let us in. My goodness. So I'm going to make a call and see what we got for other hot calls that are going on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hi. Hi, what else we got? Yeah. Luella? So nothing. Second first squad to start person to copy exit with injury is Chestnut Shepherd vehicle versus bike. Okay. Chestnut and Shepherd. Well, we better go to that. Yeah, but we gotta check to make the person safe, huh? Great, so we can head that way. Three two copy, is there a person to copy? So is there there's a fight on Marion? Large sure. Room? It hasn't been dispatched yet. All right, we'll let the St. Paul car that's going to the accident handle. We'll go to Marion. Thanks. Thanks. 375 Marion, large fight. 29, I got the main radio on channel two. Okay. My pack set on channel one. Well, we're not too far. 375. Squads and the medics are going down to an accident down on Shepherd Road. Hope it wasn't because of the racers. Clear. Well, on that last call we were on, fortunately, uh, as uh, wild as the man was going inside the apartment, when the officers went to the door, he came out and immediately gave himself up. There was... He verbally gave, a, gave us a tongue lash, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the good news is she was able to confirm no one else was in there. It sounded like there was a battle royale, right? WW. Wait, yeah, oh, definitely. All right, so... There's some of the team about that the street, if they would be kind enough to grab the Ibis off the desk and bring it over, that'd be appreciated. So, we got to figure out where this is. 375, shouldn't that be... 
Is that a by uni? There's one that can bring an IBIS. Uni's 480. Right. So 375 has got to be, what is this one here? What's it saying? That's oh, saying it. 420. Yeah. Okay. It'll be down here. Put a light on those two. 29 is requesting an IBIS, Minnehaha, and Virginia. There's a squad there, a team that can bring one. actually see anybody. 370. Yeah, we'll get someone to bring one out. So it should be in this lot. Right. There we go. So we're at a large fight call, 375. We got several people. All we're going to try to do is disperse them unless we got a victim. Put a light on that guy. Anybody hurt? You good? I'm not sure. Hey, you got to duck quick. Anybody hurt? No. Yeah, but no, with the light, though, it ain't calls for that. Got to yeah, we got called call call here for a big fight in the lot, so yeah. Okay. So everybody's taking the booze bottles in and everything? Hey, if we can get two Okay. Friends. Great. Just to get uh, both the suspect and the victim checked out. Copy in 2020. Yeah, he sure wanted to get into that car yeah. fast. Yeah, that was a good duck and dodge. Correct, right. See if there's any victims lying between Three, the cars. Squad 179. I just want to confirm the Echo Flight, Echo Mike, Echo 555. Let's go talk to those ladies, Pat. Yeah. See what they can tell if they. They might have been the callers. Echo Mike, Echo 552. 102, 112 is going to bring Ivan. Copy, thank you. 282. 282. We're code 4 for medic. 59 year old male, cautious breathing with a laceration movement. 320. 2010 case number time, please. This conflict might be continuing over here in the park in the next thing. Case number 42026. Oh, I'm going to turn the car over here. Okay. Pat's going to peek at some of these cars in case he dumped a gun. Please. In case he dumped a gun under the car. These case guys number 42, didn't actually 0, go 2, in. They're still time of 21:43. Coverting themselves behind the building. Check if he stashed a gun over there or not. Do you think he actually? I might. He might not even gone into the car. He did. He did. Okay. All right. Six nine nine. Six nine nine. Can you show me a route to a parking complaint using 725 Marshall Avenue? Copy, 725 Marshall, 2220. Well, that whole crowd went around the building. Let's just do a little scout here. See if they're still over there. Well, can you show me a vehicle second morning? Another apartment complex. Here, here. Coming here. Affirmative. Three, two, three. Two eighty. I think I see medic stage down the block. Can you make sure they got the go ahead to come in? Echo Juliet Tango okay. seven nine one. Echo Juliet Tango 791. There's a crowd over here now. 
Okay. Obviously, this call hey, hasn't been dispatched either, just because uh, it's just too many calls out there. We can do that. Huh? We can get through that. No, I was going to check it out. I can for sure get through up here. Hey, 2 4, can you create me a CN for a PPV at the fifth wall, please? That sounded like a puncture. I can't get logged into a computer. You don't care. Give it to me on the air for me when you get a chance, please. It's like a party out here now. Yeah, I hope that woman didn't have COVID the way she was hyperventilating. Yeah, no kidding. Heavy, can you mark it? Obviously, having a party here. Yeah. Heavy 2024. Yeah, it looks like a fun party. Yeah. There's our. There's our friend who ducked into the car. Yep. You guys don't gotta come to us. We're not looking for you. We're not looking for you. Oh, oh we're patrolling. You, we're you patrolling. You me on my second DUI. You was there, but look. No. Tom, no, nah, that ain't true. It's the other big guy. I ain't, damn, I ain't never seen y'all before. What do you need? You what do you need? Nah, what what do you doing need? though? What do you need? We're just out patrolling. And we wanted to let him know he left what his. Do you, what do you he got? He left his phone in the car. What? What and what? there were some people peeking in the car. What do you got there? You got some Hennessy? In a car? No, in this bottle. What is that? Is that Hennessy? I don't know what it is. Well, read, read me the bottle. No, I, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. The Dew. The Dew. The Dew, huh? Do the Dew. You know, you look just like Marshall Falk. Where y'all come from? Yeah, that running back for Seattle. That's not Marshall Falk. We got to be careful what we said. Marshawn Lynch. That's what I mean. Marshawn Lynch. Thanks for correcting me. People tell you you look like him, I bet. Yeah. How he looked for me? I never seen Tommy Falk. Oh, no. Lynch. Oh, oh, Seahawks. Seahawks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't he look oh, like him? Yeah. He can do a commercial in his place. He's like a stunt double. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's not. We just the camera make you look bigger. What was the fight about over there, anyhow? It wasn't a fight. Well, number two one seven two four five. Somebody called though. No, they know that already because they was. Over across the street where everybody else, the, the police hang. Y'all seen us pull in and we got out the car. Everybody was talking, chilling. Mm -hmm. And y'all pulled up with the lights and all that. Y'all know. Well, we just took, we just, just hey, here's the thing. Y all, y all already know. We just handle the calls. They tell us to go. There's a big fight there. We go there. And you see it wasn't. Well, by the time we get there, it's always over. Oh, okay. All right, bet. Later. Bet. Bet. Deuce. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> deuces, it's deuces, buddy. <laughs> hey, I never really learned Three, those zero, slangs, but, but on the inside of the call. my son Bobby taught me that. That was a branch, I think. Medic pulled up. I'm going to send him up deuces. there first. Can you have somebody come down and let him in the front doors and get him up there? She's still hyperventilating. I couldn't copy all. Assume you're not available. I'll find another way to get them up. Hey, well, I don't know if this was the best play here. Copy, I copy now. Can we get out that other end? Uh, I think this is the better. First floor is under area decay. Yeah, yeah, it should be hard enough to drive that way, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. I say deuce. The guy says it's deuces. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, uh, I mean, it's well, like, this one looks a little it's bad. It's like, it's like, Deuces is, is like, bet. The one guy said bet. <laughs> you know? I think if you go with an angle. I think angle. I'm good right here, right? 212. This looks reasonable. Yeah, not too bad. Assalamu alaikum. Maybe we 
change the name of the show to Keeping the Peace. There you go. Keeping the Peace. Okay. This is part one of Keeping the Peace on October 9th. It's a beautiful night out. 10.30. People are going to be out a little later than average. It's a big gathering there. What's the address up there? Oh. They're definitely sampling. <laughs> I want to get the right block number. Eight two four. In case we hear it later. Eight two four. So that's going to be about. 32, 75. I think that's a short block. That's 350 yeah, on the corner, right? Yeah. So, yeah, probably 325. Yeah. yeah. So, we're at Aurora and Weston. Uh, sorry we can't take you in on these calls, but. So, we're going up. We're at University here. We're going to go north on Western. There's another old car. There must be some car show. There's gotta be a car show. Oh, sorry. Thing is, like Pat said, when we first got there, that guy in the gray was definitely. Oh, there we go. Was stashing something in the car. What are you on one over there? On one, yeah. Put this on three then. Well, There's one that can break. 375 Marion Street for a fight. The caller can hear a group of approximately people physically fighting outside. I'd clear it, but the thing is, they're going to go back there. You know? Right. They're going to go back to that car. I mean, can't hurt to have an extra Strike squad roll through there, right? Strike through. Because they're all scattered. Three, two, seven, one. They're headed right back to the cars right. again. And right back to their spot. Hey, can someone come down and meet me in the lobby to let me in? So we can clear that call, but I think it's not, it won't be a bad thing for a St. Paul car to roam through there as long as they've been dispatched. Good idea. Yeah. I ran out of Twinkies. If I had any Twinkies, I would have gave them a box of Twinkies. <laughs> Thanks, well, thanks for all your Twinkie donations. Can you show me on that flight call real quick? I'm 23 and I'm not seeing anyone die in here this year for me, please. Copy that. Okay. Case number 217-252. See, that guy looked just like Marshawn Lynch, though. Yeah, he really did. He even know that. I said Marshall Falk. Marshall Falk. Okay, he said, no, Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> I'll never forget it's deuces. <laughs> well, we better get over to Rice Street. We haven't been over to Rice Street. <clears throat> yep. What should I say? Is that you here? What's going on at 245 though? Is that a fight too? Yeah, it looks like a fight call impending, five males outside arguing, and it's escalating. Alright, well that's good. We'll go to another pending fight call. 245 East Maryland. Across the street from the speedway. Oh, 
I don't think he was supposed to do that. Squad asking for help. Happy 778 Barry Street for a disorderly caller heard a male yelling something about a phone and another male saying, Got it. Nice. About a 20 minute delay. Actually, 245 Maryland is the Kmart. Oh, good. A lot of people out here. Yeah, they're out. Sitting cops lot. All right, who's fighting with who? You sure? You guys called for the police or not? Nope. The tow truck? Who was? Those over there? All right, thank you. Thank you. So it's the tow truck driver guys. They're probably uh, they're arguing over who gets to tow the car. Well, that's the way life goes. Squad two and seven. Go ahead. Lewis is separated. So top of the man, Maryland, so we're just on the parking lot. Stay back a little bit. Lewis green shirt. COVID. What's going on? Who's coming? Who's coming? Copy. Yep. So don't be stupid.
Car is going to come. We heard there was a fight, so we were just checking on. Oh, when, the, wow. when the same Paul, since it's yeah, you're sure. here's the deal. Since I know this could be another problem later on, because yeah. you might end up throwing one, I'm going to let you explain it to the St. Paul cops when they show up, okay? Yep. But first of all, start by telling them the guys that you were arguing with are gone. All right, so they don't think that you guys are fighting with each other. Yeah. And if you just explain it to them what you're doing. Yeah, that, that'll go another big. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for your good explanation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, walk over in front of the camera here. You can get yourself on. Over here. Right over here. Right over here. No, this side. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I like the walk. I like the walk. <laughs> All right, so you heard that explanation. They're hired by the company here to tow these trucks out of here. They give them warning, but if they don't leave, then they tow them. Thanks, so. guys. So we could just clear this call, too, but obviously there may be another call here later where they get in a fight with the tow truck driver because they're towing out semis, you know. Right, so it would be good for the St. Paul cars to yeah, know what's I think going the, on. The St. The St. Paul cars got an update that there's not a fight that the guys had left, so it's just it's good. I just don't want them to be surprised later in the night. Right. Bobby, you want to talk to me here? Okay. Interesting. There's one that can break. One of you can copy. 2218 Doswell Avenue for a person in crisis. Caller stated if you wanted an officer because pictures of it on the internet. He can advise you can report it online. He then threatened to harm himself and others. Well, I thought they said they probably said the cop, they're not fighting the cops on Maryland, but I didn't, there was, I, I any help. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Right, you Bobby, have a good party. Watch your form. He's getting locked in. I can start. Watch your form. Copy. Let's go back. Was he watching at all? I'm going to move the uh, main radio to three. three. Got it. And I'll stay on one. Okay, I'll put this one on two. 2010. County 2806 is going to write the original. Marks for 2400 and St. Paul cars. Let's see if we get that poor woman back home. What do we end up doing with that poor woman? 179. Oh, she found some friends? 179. 
for the caller, you can clear the problem card to the left of the area. Sounds good. Your car is still drivable, right? Copy, we'll check the area. Thanks, Very good. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. One two nine. One two nine. GOA with the Coast Guard. <laughs> Send the TAC. Cancel on six four. So we're eastbound on Maryland. Okay, so that's an Arkwright and Cook. Arkwright and Cook. Three one four fourteen. Here's for Happy. Three. Three seven three. Yeah, I'll go to that call. Okay. Something coming. Yeah. Find out. It's a ways Clear. away. It's a ways away yet, but that poor Mike Whistler, the first night he comes out with us, he has an accent. He must have he must have developed all of our bad luck. Right? <laughs> he must have took it all on himself. Whoa, I spoke too soon. Clear. So I'm actually on Magnolia. I gotta go one more block to cook, but I don't like to announce our presence for the full half a mile. Should be Edridge in here. Yep. Clear. Jesse, clear. clear. Thank you. I know most of some of you at home have adopted this habit of helping your loved one. Clear. The problem is not every loved one appreciates the help. Some people think like, why well, are you telling me it's clear? I can drive myself. Clear. It's still a good, it's a good practice. Clear. And should be coming up on our grade at, at the next stop sign. Take a left. See what the heck is going on. Something's going on here too. It's about leaves. Lots of leaves. Alright. Car coming, go. go so. There were three contacts found during. Looks like we got a few car load here. There's a little bit of argument going on here. We are going to keep our distance since there's. Three St. Paul cars that seem to have it under wraps. Looks like somebody's being taken into custody. Two seven one. Two seven one. Can I get the case number out here, please? A few other squads are coming just to keep an eye on the. Apparently, there's some unhappy observers. Going home. Call right. it a day. Call it a day. Some one squad's still in the way, I'm afraid. Three seven eight, Jonathan Mount. Three seven eight, Jonathan. Twenty forty. Well, what is it? 
1048. Seems like we've been out longer. Well, we were. We just been out for a while before. Yeah, That's right. And then we went south on Wiper Avenue from Maryland, and two minutes later, the car was fleeing from them right by us. Where we <laughs> right where we were. Right where we would have been. Good bit. Good bit. Western Auto Noise Complaints. A lot of yelling in the apartment and smoking narcotics and cigarettes. You know, um, really, for those of you that haven't watched much before, the goal here is just to give you a flavor of flavor of what police officers encounter, but also a flavor of how police officers handle what they encounter. And then when they're not encountering, what they what they do to try to build relationships to talk to people and uh, you know a lot of these conversations that you're hearing this is this is how you build relationships having conversations and uh, the more time you can have them the, the stronger the conversation absolutely so Three, just, Magnolia, just that Colorado little Street interchange about uh, on the second story porch across the parking lot from our caller's address. He's going to that fight on Magnolia. But I wasn't sure if he said 18 or 8. Would there be an 18? Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, those, are, those, that's those are Roosevelt apartments. A likely spot. Yeah. Roosevelt. I know, I didn't mean to interrupt it. No, like that's, I, I missed the beginning of that. No, just a little thing like the... Everything going okay? Okay. We've run into her before. She just looks very familiar. Always a little unhappy. Call her very arranged and Call her very arranged and card. But just kidding around with the guy, letting him know he looked like Marshawn. Or... Our little conversation about Allah and God. Yeah. Earlier on Hudson. Icebreakers. Right. Exactly. Icebreakers. Mm -hmm. A lot of cars out here. Okay, yeah, I yawn, but I'm not tired. Just so you know. Uh, should we make a trip down University? I mean, we haven't really been there yet. No, right? we haven't. I feel a little guilty. We're sort of showing favoritism to the east side. <laughs> It is a little bit sticky, that stuff. Yeah, I just use it. Call for 12. I think I'll be using that after. 315. Tell everyone to turn down the first floor. Floor advised that three parties are squatting in a fit from the address. A two adults and a child. So, any for those of you that send us uh, friend Pretty requests, cool. yeah. we'd love to approve all the friend requests, but we're we're saving those for people that live in Ramsey County. So, if you're outside of Ramsey County and we can't tell where you live from your Facebook profile, just um, just click the follow button and follow us, and then you'll get notified whenever we're doing some live ride-alongs. But uh, we only have about a hundred friends spots left. We are thinking of moving the whole page to an organizational page. So that might be coming just so. Maybe it isn't really appropriate for a personal page. We're not sure. Um, so we may move it to another page called with a different name. We do get a fair number of friend requests that we can't honor just because we don't have enough slots and we want to save them for Ramsey County residents. 
but I, I really wasn't familiar with the technology myself, but just follow us. Seven Grand Avenue with Victoria Mall for disorderly. There's a female inside in the bathroom refusing to leave. Black female in her 30s, five foot seven, thin build, she's wearing a black jacket and blue jeans with a backpack. You can meet the building manager at the front door. Daryl. So a friend of mine knew exactly what we were talking about and said, I'm using too much of the uh, sanitizer. <laughs> Oh, we have traffic in Arlington, Westminster with Delta Zulu Alpha 275. Just verifying Arlington, Westminster. Yep. You know, these trains are Unfortunately, sometime tonight we're going to have to make a gas stop. Somebody didn't get gas before we started. Folks over from the. Well, up there, somebody's you upset. Hear a few loud voices there. Somebody's upset. Oh, we'll let the bus go first. <laughs> well, then we're gonna slide in here under cover of no red lights. A lot of homeless people here. Speedway, 7th and Wall. Let's act like we're getting gas for now. I think the guy with the Halloween mask on top of his head was the loud one. We're waiting for the attendant to come out and pump our gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a shelf commercial. Texaco, you can trust your we car to, to the man who wears the star. star. There you go. <laughs> uh, these guys are just hanging outside, and most of them are probably homeless. It's a sad deal. They don't have anywhere to go. Careful, medics. Careful, medics. I think so. We'll give them the red lights, let them know we were here. Gentlemen! How are you doing? We pull up. We mentioned uh, earlier on the day crew, I, those of you that didn't watch us, that the the county has uh, leased Bethesda well, yeah, Hospital also, see right behind the Capitol there That's for uh, a year and a half. They're going to have 100 to 125 beds, 100 to 125 beds for the homeless. Um, that won't be quite enough, but uh, definitely help. Definitely help. It's a good thing. December 1st or thereabouts, hopefully by the coldest weather. Bethesda Hospital and uh, Health East slash Fairview downsized and they had to move their operation there over to St. Joe's and I think some to St. John's. So they had availability. I just want to Three seven eight, Are these people look completely Okay, but it just had a strange, like they're staring at something here in the distance. Just, maybe it's just, maybe they're just staring at a homeless person. Hi. Hey. How's everybody? Okay? Everything good? He just, he just walked me to my car. God bless you. That's a wonderful thing. Yeah. We, we, look, we thought you were okay. It looked like you were staring at something, though. The moon. Yeah, but it's too. It's, uh, 
You know what though, I'm glad my observation skills were semi-accurate. Because I saw you staring off like there was something over there that no, no, no. that was drawing your attention. You were hiding behind the car looking for something special and here it's the moon. Yeah. Right? And is Mars still supposed to be out? It, yeah. Oh it is. Yep. Yeah, I just tell you a lot of people don't look at the stars from underneath a semi shelter. Well, right. <laughs> I I've got a yeah. Oh, yeah. Mars is pretty bright in the sky. Well, we're glad you guys are okay. Have a good night. Thank All right. Say, say, where, what were you working or what were you guys doing this out this late? Oh, we were playing board games. We were playing board games. We played games a lot with my friends. Okay. Oh, okay. i just curious. I don't know if there's much going on down here no, after 10 no. o'clock. It's getting 10 pretty quiet downtown. We just want to make your, sure you're safe. Take Thanks. care. Thanks. Well, I'm glad I, they actually were looking at something. So your your instincts are on. Who would have guessed it was the moon? <laughs> Who would have guessed it was the moon? <laughs> do, do, do. Speaking of Mars, are you a science fiction fan? Yeah, I'm a big science fiction fan, actually. There's a, um, sh there's a uh, show called Away on Netflix. Is this the woman that's away from her family? Yes, on the first mission to Mars. I, yeah, I, I, I saw a few you, promos for it. I was tempted to... But it's a series, right? Yes. Three, two, three, two, three, two, Which I watched in two days. Now I now I have to wait for a year to see it again. Well, that's the problem. <laughs> I, I've gotten away from watching series unless they have all been run and I can watch them one after the other, like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Good advice. Traffic one ready. Perfect traffic. Traffic ten. Echo Sierra Juliet two seven eight. Cooking at 321. Well, the St. Paul cars are staying busy tonight, stopping a lot of cars. I heard them recovering a lot of stolen this week. Not all stolen car stops turn into chases. And, uh, well, I hear them now, hear them? Oh, yeah. There's the racers again. They They're down, down on Shepard. Well, let's go down. They there. gotta be down on Shepard. At least we okay. see what's going on. Okay. I don't think we're gonna catch the racers. Because I think they're watching us. Shepherd Road, which is actually a beautiful road. I, I have told this story before, but I'll tell it again. But when I was a young boy, my neighbor, Jerry Hangy, Maplewood, said, President Lyndon Johnson is coming to town. So he loaded us all up in the car. We came down here. We sat right down here by this light somewhere in this area. And watch, came up Shepherd Road from the airport. Oh, yeah? This has to be 64, maybe 65, you know. Of course, unfortunately, the president's no longer drove in convertibles. Right. Because of John Kennedy being killed. Yep, he was the last one to so ride open air. And so, we didn't really, we, we saw him in the car. 37 through traffic. But we didn't really. 37 uh, Really 350, Romeo and Juliet. Well, that was the first president I ever saw. Oh, where's that? Copy with direction. Maryland 35. Going westbound on Maryland. Yeah, we gotta get up there for a minute. Copy west. He's driving about 
20 miles per hour. Still just gonna pull up. Three seven three, copy West on Maryland. Vehicle no stopping. Going 20 miles an hour. 302 copy. 302 copy. Are we pursuing? Following. Pull over your pass. We aren't. And I lit him up after Westminster, so let's wait for another spot. Can we feel the house stopped? And can I get your new location again? Maryland. Bravo, sir. We are. Is he moving or still? Still moving. I'll be out with Maryland. Maryland in what we're in at 2304. Copy. 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 Copy, 2305. That guy we had last week who wouldn't stop for us at 20 miles an hour for 8 or 10 blocks. Yeah, well, that's because he was throwing the pot out the window. <laughs> right. Copy, 2305. So we'll head up on University Avenue and see what's going up there. West sector. About the time we get there, there'll be shots fired on Minnehaha and Earl. <laughs> on the other side of town. Oh, yeah, we've been a day late and a dollar short on our locations tonight. I just see you. We haven't really. Some of those, those are uh, some of the unread comments on the phone that takes text. And, and, you know, we, we really have a hard time. The truth of the matter is, Pat reads every single comment in the morning, right? Yes, I do. So, God bless you. I, I appreciate it. And, and my wife reads most of them. I, I don't get to. I don't get to all of them. But if you're ever wondering. The comments do get read usually in the morning, right? Right. And so if you have a question, you put it in the comment, that's good. But also this number we have, which uh, 651-448-1500. Uh, 651-448-3810. We do not answer the phone, but we do get texts that we try to look over more closely than the comments. 651-448-3810. Pat's got that phone right now. I just handed it to him. Usually we don't I don't want Pat looking at a phone while we're out driving around. Because then he misses something else and he has such a keen observation. The pillbox tavern, that looks like they're having yeah, fun, huh? It's one of my son's favorite spots. Pillbox. I haven't been there. I gotta go there. Be in the room, so I guess the racers were eastbound on 36. That century, they must be going all around. Century, down, right? yeah. The ice cream uh, shop on Rice Street. That's right. Dars Double Scoop. Dars Double Scoop. Yep. Yeah. Great. The best ice cream ever. Wonderful man. Kevin Barrett owns it. Well, 13 minutes ago, they were racing at Snell Snelling and 36, so they must have just uh, kept going eastbound. Must be. Yeah, if you see a lot of those racers, let us know, but let us know uh, how many there were. See if there's a pack out there. And yes, we do get occasionally to the west side. Not as much t as other parts of town, generally. Uh, we're, we generally end up going where the most calls are.
Yeah, we try to keep it educational and interesting. We know you'll get tired of listening to us, so we try to break it up. Oops. We've got a watcher in Phoenix, Arizona. This is our uh, police memorial right here in front of us. And in front of the capital of Minnesota. Pull up in front there, you can see our beautiful capital at nighttime. We saw it in the daytime the other day, yesterday. Jesus, can you believe that was yesterday? Hang on, here we go. Cook in Edgerton. Cook in Edgerton? Three, two. Are you on one? Yes. I'll leave this one on three for now. Cook in Edgerton. Yeah. What do we have there, Chloe? What's going on at Cook in Edgerton? Three on four, we're detaining two. We call four. Two on four, I'll be detaining two, call four. That's 2310. Looks like Cook it resolved Edgerton. itself. Sounds like it. Shot of the capital here before we go down to uni. Sure. I was looking at that last night. A lot of those live streams, a lot of the protesters live stream their uh, protests from in front of the capital. And the state patrol did an awesome job of securing that facility last night. And who's talking there, Pat? Can you hear someone? Can't tell where it's coming from. What does it mean when we say a call hasn't been dispatched yet? Uh, it's a good question. It's a very good question. They, uh, due to uh, there often not being enough cars available, there uh, if a call comes in and there's no one available to take it, it goes into the pending queue. And when the, according to the severity of the call, and when a car come, becomes available, they are dispatched in the uh, respective uh, order of severity of the call. Copy to 11. So yes, it is because of heavy call volume. And a lot of the calls we go to actually haven't been dispatched because we try to pick up and help on those ones that haven't been dispatched yet and so but as you can tell like that domestic call hadn't been dispatched there's still there can always be serious calls that haven't been dispatched Sorry that I like this, but just a quick nighttime view of our beautiful capital. There it is. It's a gorgeous building. I'm gonna, you know, between now and next Friday, I'm gonna do a little research on the history. I, I, when I was younger, I knew the history. People were asking about the gold horses. When I was little, we used to go up on our tour when you came down here from school. Right. When you came up here from tour, you'd be able to, you'd be able to actually, uh, to to go up there and walk around and see the, see the, uh, horses. I never made it up there. But over time, People scratched on them all the time, trying to scratch their name on the gold plate. So, so we uh, they closed that off now, but they've redone the horses. The whole thing is just absolutely beautiful now. Spent a lot of time up there working with the legislature on crime bills, 
Um, well, I've been, you know, I've been in law enforcement for a number of years, and of course, worked with several different governors, attorney generals. Check and risk what is our just, I mean, people don't appreciate how hard Please those legislators to actually work. Please refer to Curtis, UP. First, your car is behind the address for the past three to 45 minutes. Did you know for Sherburn Avenue for a domestic? That is about as beautiful as I have ever seen the Capitol look right now with that lighting. It was a queen mutton. Black female, 23 years old, 5'2", thin build, pink and blue scarf, and a gray and black sweater, and black legging. Looks like officers were out there. Anyhow, I do want to say the people that work up here at the Capitol, they work very hard, and uh, people don't appreciate how many hours they put in to uh, actually get some legislation done. And, uh, it's I've watched them late night hours the last two weeks of every session. Just burn working 20 hours a day. And, uh, I mean, you don't have to be a fan of all politicians, but once in a while you gotta realize that they are working pretty hard. Minnesota, Bravo Yankee, Tango, 513. over the road, up onto the curb. They parked in the parking lot at 2315. No, sir. It's going to be our first trip down the university for the night. I'm going to do a better job of trying to answer some of these questions. It's, just, it's not like a situation where we can plan all week for what we're going to do. Right. we got other parts of our job. And as much as we would love to meet up with people who may want us to, when we're out here, it's, uh, we just, we go where the calls are and it's, it's, it's hard to respond to a particular location for a, for a personal meeting. down University Avenue as soon as we get through this extensively long light. Are our overheads on? Take a shot at that? Yeah. Uh, Deb is asking if you uh, know your cousins, uh, Mike and Jess Schwab. Yes, very well. Two on seven. Uh, Mike, Mike and I actually started together. And Jeff is currently a sergeant, I believe, in the homicide unit. I don't know how they can be your, both be your cousins. And Edwater and Bryce. Was it one older? Well, it, uh, Maybe yeah, Jeff was Mike's. Oh, one's a one's a cousin. Wasn't his son? I, I don't know. Maybe it was I his nephew. So. I guess one's I'm not a cousin, sure. a second cousin. But yeah, well, I can tell you, I don't know Jeff that well. I've seen him a couple of times, but Mike is one of the smartest uh, cops I ever worked with. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, and um, we came on together in '77, and just um, brilliant, kind person, and just very. Uh, very good person so we, we could have we could have a hundred more mics we'd have a, we'd have even a better department so yeah mike is jeff's dad okay. and uh mike and uh uh rich munos were partners for a long time 
in Frogtown. Yep. That was... They're all classics back then. I think Mike went to work... Didn't he go to work for a uh, pension? Or what did he do when he retired? Some state position. State position, yeah. Yeah. Always had a lot of respect. For one of those guys that people always res always respected, you know? Didn't have... He didn't have any baggage, at least no baggage that we ever figured out in 30 years. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll say, you know, just tell all the family that we have utmost respect for him. And apparently at that uh, stop we assisted on, or that we drove by at uh, Cook and Arkwright, uh, the officers recovered a gun out of the car. Okay. So that was a very, very good stop. Yeah, nowadays you need to have two or three backup cars because if people st show up and aren't happy with you, you need to have someone covering your back. Right, especially when you've recovered a gun. Yeah. Rich Munoz, uh, Mike Schwab's partner for many years, he ended up being a homicide detective himself and married uh, assistant chief Nancy DePerna. Yeah. Glad to say Nancy was. Uh... Oh, we missed the chase that was going on. I'm going to have to turn this on scan. We missed the Roseville chase. But Nancy was a Hamlin grad, too. I don't know if you knew that. I did not know that. They overlapped a little bit, but... Two vehicles that are parked on the street, cars, a few letters flying on and off in the car. Requesting an area check. Uh, she came on in the class after mine. She came on with uh, Joe Flaherty and... 2166 That whole crew. She was a great cop. Rich came on with me yeah, again. Okay. The infamous class of 52. There were 52 in your class? Like that, yeah. One or two got fired, though. <laughs> oh. You know Dave Strecker very well. Awesome cop. Great man. Kid plays Montemedi hockey, I think. They always beat up on us. What's that? This kid's a brute, just like he is. <laughs> Somebody's asking for clarification on the, uh, the comments about encrypted radios. In Ramsey County, none of the agencies have encrypted patrol channels. They do have the ability to go to the encrypted channels for like SWAT and narcotics and such, but uh, patrol is dispatched unencrypted. George Bettendorf, I know the name, I don't... I know he walked the Rice Street feed, but I don't, uh, I never knew the man. So here we are, West Pond University from Lexington. Not a lot of activity here right now, but and I can speak for Bob on this that we both know Don Winger very well. Fine man. 
with a okay. finer with a finer wife. Her latest update boyfriend has a collar. Great, um, great so people. Job, boyfriend, boyfriend strangling the son and waiting on the TV. Okay. Steve okay. Anderson, know him well. Well, there's two Steves. And this is the one who's the commander in the Western oh, yeah. District they're referring to. Actually, Steve was, uh, I was one of his training officers. And, uh, and he worked in force, right, for years? Or yeah, uh, the SIU, what was it, uh, the gangs? FR, some special response team yeah. out of narcotics yeah, and vice. Yeah, yeah, street, like, you know, street crime. Yeah. Great, like, great job. I graduated to Commander of the West District. Senior Commander. Five, ten, eight, can I get a stamp, please? Good, good cop, too. That's the other thing about Stevie. Good cop. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what we got here. We got, uh... Regarding the mother's boyfriend that was insulting the mother. Well, I'm going to turn this one on one pet. Yep, and I'll go to, uh, I'll go to three on mine. John Sherwood, who retired within the last year, I believe. Oh, yeah, no, John, very, very well. Long time canine officer. All right, well, listen, we love talking about got cops that we worked with. That's all good. But send us questions. Send us questions about our job. You know? Send us questions about crime, things that you heard in the news, things we can expand upon for you. Because uh, quite honestly, there are very, very few police officers. So. I mean, it would be a thousand. Yeah. We'd end up, there'd be a thousand names that we'd have to... Then there'd be a thousand stories about each of us. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I was thinking about that. So, Hamlin University here, northbound Snelling at Hamlin University. A lot of found members on that Norton Field right there, football. I'll bet you do. That's probably the pretty theoretical. Did you play all throughout college? I did. I did. Right here again. Enjoyed every single minute of it. Strange story, but I was I, do, I was invited to come and try out with two teams, and I decided I got I took the test in the November of my senior year, and I got offered a job in April of my senior year. Okay, with the police department. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tom Collins' dad did my background actually, so then I. I first orientation was July 1st, but as much as I love football, I thought, here's an opportunity for a great job, and if you passed on that opportunity, you may never get one. I might have ended up coming out of your class then, that would have been. <laughs> so. so, the different codes, good question, good question, and uh, Pat, why don't you just kind of cover them, when you hear 10 one 10, 2, 10 3, that means clear the channel, we, we need the air, we have something important that's going on, and then start with 10-4. 10-4 is the uh, acknowledgement that you uh, you heard the radio transmission from the 
from the dispatcher or from another car and that would uh, I believe it's still used if you're a two officer car you say 10-4 and if you're a one officer car you uh, distinguish yourself by saying 1099 instead of 104 that identifies you as a one officer car and uh, let's see we got uh, 1023 is arriving on scene yeah. uh, they've 10 7 and 10 8 10 7 is uh, that you're you're uh, out of, out of service yep. and uh, usually followed by 107 getting gas 107 for lunch and 108 is that you are clear and available for call a lot of that there were a lot more 10 codes that they're getting away from them from them a lot especially since uh, 911 because of all the uh, different agencies that were coordinating with each hey, other they all had different ten codes and no one knew what the other was talking about so they the there's a movement towards more uh plain english plain english and where are you from well, well, the disturbance at 6 14 east cleveland text to 911 stating a group of five people are outside he's on larpenor we just passed through falcon heights and uh, sheriff's office patrols Falcon Heights, as you know. Now we're on the border of, of Roseville and St. Paul, right here on this border. Ten nine. If you're in ten nine, that means repeat. And it's all the agencies in Ramsey County have the same codes. We didn't always before the merger, but 10, 12 years ago, we merged all the comp centers into one. But still, the state patrol might have different numbers, you know, for accidents. And so you'll hear, if you're on a scanner and you hear the state patrol or Minneapolis, you might hear some different codes. A lot of pumpkin sales going on. I gotta get out and get my pumpkin. Oh yeah, me too before it gets too cold. I think Sunday, that'll be my Sunday task. Sunday pumpkin. You know, I always tell you how life, you learn through trial and error, right? You learn through making mistakes. I, I read a quote, in fact, we got a, we got a lot of quotes. Come in, I gotta get back to those quotes. But someone said, exactly what it was. I'm going to get the quote and bring it back someday. Something about good judgment comes from making mistakes. Right. And speaking well, of pump pumpkins, an area. when I used to Thank carve you, pumpkins, the big, you know when you're carving the top out of a pumpkin? You know? Right. You can't have the knife straight up and down. The knife has to be at a 45 degree angle. Right. You know why that is? What's no, I don't. Well, if you're not careful, if, if you carve the pumpkin at a 90 degree angle on the top to take the top off, well, then it won't be able to. You can't. It won't. When you after you clear it out, it won't stay up there. Right. You gotta be able to see. Have a little ledge for it. You wouldn't know that unless you made that mistake. <laughs> well, some people might. <laughs> But I can guarantee you that I've made that mistake of carving a pumpkin straight up and down and always <laughs> remind myself there has to be an angle to it. And then the lid wouldn't stay. The lid wouldn't stay. Then what you got to do is you got to get toothpicks. You <laughs> put toothpicks up on the side and your pumpkin looks like he's got... <laughs> <laughs> little sticks coming out of your head. So... I know everybody knows that, but a lot of young kids might not. So when your child carves his first pumpkin and you're tempted to do it for him, let him learn the hard way and he'll never forget. <laughs> but have a bunch of toothpicks ready just in case. Just in case. Just in case. 
Eastbound on Larpeter, we're headed over to call on uh, Timberlake in the uh, McDonough Housing Community. Sorry, we haven't had uh, more activity tonight, but that's actually a good thing for the city yeah. and the county. What other gems of experience can I share? Oh, gosh. I've already heard the story about the gasoline pump. Yeah, right? yeah we don't want to we don't need to tell that one again. Oh, but you know, the funny part is I'm, we're, right here with, we're right here at the gas station. We're going to drive right by the gas station where it happened to be. <laughs> so just remember... I mean, the most important thing is, if you ever do drive away with the nozzle in the pump, and then you decide to go back and try to stop the gas, do not, you will not be able to kink the hose. Just turn it off. Just turn the pump off. Right there. Thank you for County DRE. We've got a little domestic problem over here at Timberlake. For those of you that remember, we had a little homicide on over here for... A while back. 442 head down here, DLC. In this case, there's a domestic... North Century. Stop reporting a very decayed email. Yeah, it's like uh, uh, boyfriend's at the door, violent. mom is arguing with him, and he is threatening to break down the door. So it says he's not leaving without it, this stuff. Yep, he wants his clothes. dispatched yet or not? 1640, we're just about there. Sometimes these numbers get confusing. Yeah, they do. Um, because that's actually supposed to be a Jackson Street address there, but Seventeen. Yeah, I think it's that corner. Seventeen C D. I think it is this one. This is where that homicide was, right behind us to the right. What am I doing with my sixteen oh six? What am I doing with my back Could you please update the call location to Cook and Jesse? We will be in route to Daily C, adult male, adult female. Advise, one, two, four. Take a look. I have hands for Lotus Avenue. Really a disturbance. Report What's about. going on there, young man? Well, we're going to turn around. He's sitting out there. Turn around. He's obviously a little bit unhappy. Chloe, is this one dispatched yet? One, two, four, I copy. Okay, turn. Uh, turn our rear lights off, front ones off. Ooh. That could be good, could be bad. <laughs> could I be think everything. it's just fine. <sighs> Not been dispatched. How'd you know that? How'd you know that? In real sale, you see the doorbell. Can he just throw his stuff out the window on his door, man? We'll come to the front door and make sure he gets his stuff. Let's just let's just let him have his stuff. What are we what are we waiting for? Question nine, Thank you. 
24 got me hit. 22 for me. Go for twenty three thirty eight. Eighty six twenty transport. Eighty six twenty. From the traffic stop to the area of one hundred and um, thirty six in St. Louis Park. Twenty three thirty nine. Five one two five ten. Five ten. Five one two. Sixteen twenty one Kimberly Corona, Carpenter Bravo, domestic. Four one two nine. Concerned said the seven fifty Milton unit ten thirteen for an assist. The caller has been knocking on the door over an hour. Child's mother is not answering, and there's a one year old inside crying. Caller is waiting in a maroon Hyundai outside. 124, copy. 129, same traffic. 23. Adult mail from the call location to the Mounds Boulevard, to the Mounds Police Department, starting 86.1. 2340. Well, I don't know why you sent me that dangerous condition. Copy, university and curfew for freshly 10 vehicles drag racing at the intersection. to meet up with some of the victims that are in the parking lot. Two twelve or twenty eight. We can take it. Copy you two take it, sir. Twenty three one. One two nine wire, medic being started. Seventy-one twenty-five arrives, ending eight seven point two. Twenty-three forty-three. West squads for midnight EOT squad one six one. One seven nine. Did 
Disregard. No one eats them. One eats them. Report one eighty. Copy. Any other squads from an IDOT? Strike to copy any other. All right. Well, this is a classic uh, non-police conflict. I hate to say it, but yep, we don't really have a role in people arguing over who gets the TV, right? He says it's his. She says it's not. Well, there we are. And oh, I think we got a St. Paul officer coming right now. Hello, officer. You want the low? You want the sh long and the short of it? <laughs> he wants his stuff, which we've acquired all of his clothes and stuff. He has his clothes in a basket there. He wants the TV. She says it's not his TV. So stay where you're at. Stay, just keep your distance. So we've advised. Really, it's a civil matter. And we've advised him he can sleep anywhere he wants as long as he keeps his mouth closed. If he make, wakes up neighbors, then he's going to go to jail for um, the noise ordinance. So, but there's no, there's no crime here. Nobody's accused anybody, and all he wants is the TV. And she says it's her TV. She is. You can talk. She'll stick her head out that window up there. Yeah. You, you, oh, should be good. I'm with air cops, so you gotta find out if you need them. Yeah, no. You guys should be she, she's on the lease. He's okay. not. Okay. So that's also fine. Thank you, sir. You bet. You bet. You bet. We we were just gonna leave because we can't fix it. Yeah. Maybe well, you can. No, I can't fix it. Four for nine two three nine Alright, 23 Strike team four. Strike team four. You can put Somebody yelling at us? Oh, she's gone. Copy, have a good evening at 2346. We better stay here just to guard this guy. Yeah, huh? I think so. So the officer who arrived, uh, the St. Paul officer who arrived, is with the ACOP unit, which is stands for a Community Outreach Project. And they work... Uh, Primarily, all of the uh, housing projects and uh, assisted living high rises throughout town. I think that's their role still. Yeah. Well, he, he was mentioning he was going to call an Uber, so we figured he wasn't going to last too long. No. So. You're the best. Th thank you for solving the problem. Thank you. Looks like he's about done. What's up? PPV, Uni Asbury. You can almost hear uh, information is possible for safety comfort. Weapons involved this all out of Brooklyn Park with some screen to twenty three forty seven. Hey, um generally don't do that. Leave that up to me. Well, Can canceling the cars. Alright, All right. thanks. Thanks. Bye. This is twenty one six four in a dangerous condition thirty three oh eight Victoria. North of the address there's a wild party with drive racing. Well, looks like he was convinced that the best option is to leave. You got, a free, you got a free over. Kinds Ooh, racers. <laughs> racers. Well, let's go see if we can catch that. I bet you can. I bet you can. I don't know. Racers on Jackson. It could just be speeders. Clear right. It could be speeders. Clear right. 
Step out, make a quick phone call privately behind the car. I'll try and keep you entertained while he's. Yep, yep. Let's pull over here and make it real quick. Looks like something's going on that I need to call about. Yeah, you keep him entertained. So we never did catch up to the two cars that were flying down Jackson. No idea if they were racing or just in a hurry to get somewhere. This is right where we were a couple weeks ago when uh, a car fled from St. Paul PD turned on Lorient, went to the Kmart lot and outran us. When people flee from the police, they tend not to take any precautions at intersections or lights or stop signs and the police do. And that's why they often get away. Squad 510. 510. 510, I'll be giving a courtesy ride to an adult male from this location to 579 Minnehaha Avenue East. And that St. Paul ACOP officer is uh, giving a courtesy ride Three, to the man who was at the domestic. Off. And she is walking around the lake here, so we're having trouble getting to her. Saying, now this is right where we were when that car fleeing from St. Paul a couple weeks ago. Oh my goodness, yeah. Hey, another maple squad to assist at the living suites. We do have a... 4483, you can have me in 8-9, we're coming from the far north. There are a lot of racers out today, sooner or later. Someone's going to call us with their great location. <laughs> uh, they do seem to be moving around a lot tonight. There's an argument over Marilyn and Matilda that we haven't gone to yet. I missed that one. That's right in the street. It's old enough. It's impending. People are arguing. 4041. What is the female wanted for? The 245... Maryland people are calling back again. They must have had an argument with them about towing their trucks. They seem a little extreme, huh? Yeah. Towing, uh... Towing a semi just... Seems a little bit... I bet you only got to tow one, though. Right? Yeah, I think everybody else would... Get the hint. from uh, Whitey was working public works tonight, huh? He stopped by that accident earlier. 
Yeah. And uh, it was nice and uh, use the lighting on his truck to keep another accident from happening. 212, where's 212 at? 212. Me too. This will be GOA and send us 223's call. Can cancel them say like. You know when I was here's Matilda. 223 spots happy, thank you. Here's something. Margaret and 17th Company. Advise, I'll take the CN and then I'm going to have to... Somebody arguing out here? I'll take the CN first. Anybody well, we got a call. Somebody arguing. What, what's, what's that noise over there? Oh, I, mean, I heard somebody yelling over there. Well, is that a joker mask or what is that? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about many wise, yeah. So, everything's good? Can we have another squad come to our location? The residents here are arguing. We're going forward with our driver, but another squad routine it out. Chloe, where's 212 at? You okay, baby? <laughs> 255 Corborn. Hi. All right, it's good. I'm glad. I'll stay here. Okay. We're trying to get everything. Yeah, he was here and he was yelling. I'm sorry. He was yelling over at the door. I'm still behind my daughter for trying to scare my kids. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, it's no problem. You don't have to be sorry. Just sometimes you got to yell at your daughter, you know? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and. You can't do that anymore. I know. Uh, you know. Wish we could, cause hey, I'm but still alive from what yeah. my mama did to but me. When you're, when, but when you're, those are you're, you're, you're showing that spanking. She ain't that little anymore either. But no, no, no. We're just talking. Oh, well, we got the update. Let them know, like it's not. Got me with the vehicle. The Chevy Charger with the camera flash. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I've been good. Who's this guy in the car behind you? Just checking up on you, making sure you're good. Oh, yeah. oh a, it's a perfect night for a bonfire, isn't That's it? That's why we did it. A perfect night. Yeah, you know, yeah, I got this question. I got a bunch of keys like that at home, and every once in a while I decide. Oh, this I don't, is a bunch of car I, keys. I don't really need all those keys. So I, got I, yeah? I, got, I got too many vehicles. Yes, attorney, our attorney already has that case. But he does huh? it. He's the reason why I, I win. Oh. He needs all those yeah. keys. Yeah. Like you. you probably do. You can do that uh, 1,000 Westgate call. Oh, my face. Yeah, like this. Like, to how about this? Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 you were picking him up. <laughs> I think I scared her right away. My name's Fletcher. Well, that's Pat Scott right here. Who that? Tyrone. Oh, how are you? I haven't seen you in ages, man. You know what? Now we're making too much noise. Now we're making. Now, now we're the ones being loud. How are you doing, man? How's your mom doing? Is that her daughter right there? Good. Good to see you. That's my little I got you retired. I did. He, he brought me back in. He brought you back in. I brought him back to work. I'm glad I said your name loud. He's in the car. That's funny. That's yeah, funny. That's hilarious. Okay. Okay. You been good? Well, we're no, good. Real good. We're not real good. Real good. Yeah. Yeah. She should drive, right? Likewise. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, let him drive. You're about too much you, to drink. Go, oh, oh, my God. Hey, hey. I got a nice oh, little car in here. You guys are on live, oh, live Facebook. Hey. Right there. Hey. Right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> See it right there. There you are. There you are. Baby. Right there, right there. Yeah, you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
I love you, bro. Hey, I love you too. Long time no see. Yeah, give my best to your mom, will you? I will. All right, appreciate it. Yes, sir. Good to see you. You too. Hey, Silk. I'll let you later, man. Going home. Hang on one sec. You, you, hey, hey, nice did you did you oh. say you're gonna park your girlfriend, or no. you're gonna park the girlfriend's car? Oh no no, I'm gonna park my girl car. <laughs> okay, there this you go. Right here. You know you know what they say about the most important man in the world? What is that? He only has one key, and it opens every door. I try to, but man, <laughs> hey, listen, they just get bigger and I'm bigger. I'm just telling every you, year. you fall in the, you fall off a dock, you're gonna drown. <laughs> oh, I definitely will. <laughs> you go right straight down. to the bottom, right man. Down. <laughs> I got too many vehicles, man. I can't help it. All right, after we leave, keep her down. Probably <laughs> one comes to the living suite, sir. Twenty-three What did he ask you? Do you know Pat Scott? He said, He's in the car. <laughs> Right. It's a small world out here. It really is. Squash five during traffic. Sounds like some shots five were ten. heard to the north of uh, Billings. Five ten. Uh, by the deputies down there. Really? Minnesota plate. Twenty three fifty nine. Delta Yankee. Charlie. Get down there. That's what that's closing eight, three, four. time. And then probably the same eight, shots. Eight seventy eight Hag. Two to three shots from the southeast. Yeah. So that's probably the same shots. One two nine. Well, let's just let's go down Dale Street. Fired. Okay, I'm guessing that's the one with the off-duty herd. That's the one that was? <laughs> the off-duty herd. The deputies heard. Oh, let's call Jeremy. Call Jeremy Bolin. Oh, let me see. Hang on a second. Oh. Yes, yeah, sir. Jeremy, you're on live. You're working down there at Billy's? Yes, sir. Until 1230. You got some shots fired down there or what happened? Uh, it, it came from the north like three or four blocks. Okay. So, we are cold for medics on my location. That Mars is with me. We're working down here. So we oh, called it in on the radio. Um, the security up. and Jimmy's heard it, or uh, he's heard it inside, so. We're down in the corner on Victoria, just looking north to make sure there's no vehicles speeding off or whatnot. Yeah, you heard the other call from Haig that they heard the shots to. Um, I'm not sure if you heard yeah. that. But was there any trouble at the bar earlier, any conflict? Nothing, it's been an older crowd, so it's really, they're closed now. So at the midnight they locked down, they just want us to hang on until 1230. Okay, so your, your problem is done for the night anyhow. Even if it is there. Yep. All right, all right, all right. Say hi to Matt. Thank him for your, his work. I, I told him what a great job you've been doing on water sure, patrol. I, I, t I, I bragged about the water patrol yesterday there, Jeremy. So thank you. I heard. I heard. Yeah, you're welcome. You deserve it. All right. Take care, buddy. Talk to you. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, Clear. Well, that Good. illustrates the point of why if you hear shots fired, please call. Don't assume somebody else did. Don't wonder if it was shots because the deputies at Billy's at Victoria and Grand heard shots to the north. And then a call came from five or six blocks north of there that there were shots to the southeast. And that helps narrow down the location they're coming from. Since we don't have shot spotter, which would tell us instantly where they were fired. Right. Hello, Jerry. Hi, Nolan Brown. Seen on an each male. Looks like she was going to jump. Wearing all dark clothing. Track suit. Twelve Shot spotter can tell you how many guns are being fired, where they're being fired, if they're moving while being fired. Very, very... Uh, Even each gun has a different signature for the caliber, so they can tell you if there's more than one gun being fired, they can tell you that too. Exactly. The spot car? No. Yep. That's where you used to get yeah. gas. You remember getting gas down there? Oh, yeah. For a while? Five. Three, one, six. I don't 
Where was the other place? Please report to be locked at 35 E. We have a caller advising that they drove by saw an unknown aged male who appeared that he was going to be attempting to jump. It's a long wearing old dark colored clothing, like a track suit. We know if anything. Well, we just left up there, but copy and route. Somebody's thinking of jumping. 302 copy. What bridge was that on? 35 E. Over four four here. Are you luck? Carpenter. Jump for three minutes. We're going to slide down to West 7th Street, I think, to see if any of those... Sometimes the problems when they leave Billy's slide down to West 7th. Right. Or to the Foundry. Or to Bourne's. So let's just see. Make sure that West 7th Street... Anonymous. We're probably going to regret not going to the Foundry. Four minutes. Or Bourne's. Yeah. But that's open until 2, so we can always right. swing by there later. <clears throat> if you wanted to, you could pretty much go call the call. So we're southbound on Dale and Thomas coming up on University. 2164. 2164. Change to noise disturbance. Calling 2753. 2753. Is there, uh, we have two shots. Same, same area. Came from, from the first time from Billy's. Oh, more shots? Shots are shot shot from the same area around Billy's. Well, we probably we better, yeah. Yeah. as long as they're not moving, we better, we better go over there and assist these men. Yep. One should have, did that just happen now? Just as I heard it. Just as I heard it. Okay, copy. And then Hag and I'm not seeing or hearing anything. Copy, copy, she got hurt in the area. We got Pat and I will start looking at right, you want to start over back Kelly? cars leaving. Yep. Confirm it on the lane. Two blocks away from Billy. Thank so, you. Remember the, the murder was at Billy's. It was three hours after they were closed outside. We start reading these plates off just because you never know. Yep. We got to grab them. Uh, uh, can't read that one. Bravo X ray Delta 57 something. Bravo Sierra Kilo 581. Bravo Sierra Kilo 581. We'll be out with the mail at the liquor barrel. I'm going to put this the main one on one, okay? Copy out with the mail at the liquor barrel. It already is. I'm not too here. I don't know what you're doing. There's no one on the bridge. No one on the bridge. Good. Clear. So, here's the thing. Shootings, a lot of shootings happen on Carroll. A lot of shootings happen down at Cardi Park. Eagleheart. St. Albans. But both of those are north of where the second victim thought. The second witness was was on Hague. The car and the St. Paul car at Victoria and Hague did not hear the shots that the deputy heard, Jeremy heard. So closer. Closer to Billy's probably. And even here here's the other thing. Since the second shots were roughly in the area of the first shots, good chance that people were not in cars moving at the first time, right? Right. So we could have a shot. Two hundred a copy and a shot fired. One caller, Western and front. Her two shots. Five one two. We're just there. So. Do you want to start medics to be locked in with the big boss? I guess maybe a picture of mail. Unknown condition. I really just unusual.
Could end up being a, could be a shooting at a location rather than a car. But usually people down here would call pretty fast, right? Yeah. I just... That light works pretty good, Pat. I'm very happy with this. Good light. It's a good light. Five one two verifying seems secure. Hi, Matt. Information for squadron of fireworks from place in the area of seven three five Simon Avenue. Report of aerial fireworks a couple blocks. That's where the, that's the front and western shots fired call then probably. Yep. I don't know, that's one thing about shots fired, they can echo so far. Mm -hmm. The shot spotter is a phenomenal tool that we Please be advised, we're situated in 217, send the shots fired. Copy, 10 minutes. Copy, be advised, west of the fireworks call at 735, Simon reporting fireworks, 1 and 2 left, east of there. Go for it. Copy, post fire traffic, 10 minutes. Switch off, could you 10-9 that info again? West of the fireworks call. At 735, Simon reporting fireworks one or two blocks east of the Simon address. Copy. Ten minutes. Well, Put your phone to cover alarm and Ackerman. Ten minutes. Milton and maybe heard him. Hi. How are you? Hi, I'm doing delivery. The delivery? Do you always turn your lights off when you deliver? Yeah, okay. But I'm still here. I'm not going inside. Okay. I'm calling the customer on the phone. Okay. So have you heard any gunshots? No, I don't hear any. Is there no gunshots? No. I just I like that now. Just now. now. What are you delivering? Squad 212. Good item from GoPo. GoPo? Okay. Yeah, go on up there. It's fine. 212. We're just hanging here. You go deliver. Mr. Collins, 345, okay. start reporting aerial fireworks. <clears throat> Copy that. Oh, isn't he, isn't he, isn't he, isn't he, isn't he, there you go. There. Good man. Make sure he doesn't get robbed at 12 o'clock at night. Especially since there's somebody running around with a gun in the yeah. neighborhood. Just for the record, we don't need to run, but Bravo Uniform Hotel 724. It's nice to have a re record on these. Right. Go ahead, sir. Have a good night. One of the few occasions when I was able to catch a comment here, uh, no, this is not a spotlight. It is actually a handheld flashlight. It's a good one. It's bright, but it's also got a narrow beam. Yeah. So you can. That's what I like about it. Alright. Easy 196. You can clear your Brighton squad. From that mountain. We haven't had. 15 minutes. Squad 228 and come here. Glad to start our squad. Joseph, Greenland, Matilda. Four people arguing at the intersection. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that, that Matilda call just came out now. 
Oh, for crying out loud. That shows you how backed up they are. We didn't clear it because we're not, we weren't 100% certain those people were actually going to go in and be quiet. And possibly they didn't, huh? <laughs> Quite possible. Nice enough they, people, though, right? Very much so. Yeah. But they did not seem like their oh, night was oh, over with. <laughs> Which, you know, it's only 12.15, doesn't have to be over. <sighs> Some noise around the corner here. Yep. We're on Grand Avenue at Victoria, or are we on Grand Avenue? 2365 Victoria. Victoria. So, something's going on here. Homer to Warm at Texas Scandinavia, 2900 Rice Suite 100. Miller states that they came into the building and the alarm was going off. Started up again after they shut it off or requesting school. Did you think Both that young person was tied to that car or not? Or just jumping out? I th don't it was, know. It was making hand gestures at that car when it pulled up. Like you probably get us. They weren't giving you a hard time, were they? No. Okay. I'll be you. Have a good night. Nice. Good approach. Good approach. <laughs> so drive down here, we'll turn around and go back. Hope we get there. I know the summer can advise them are there any injuries. I'm not sure I just passed a go on westbound, but we'll take the vehicles up in the ditch. Somewhere. I'm gonna be east on ninety four west of White Bear. Affirmative. Beautiful street, Grand Avenue. By the way, I was driving down some streets today. Well, I think it was Selby. All the trees are red at the same time. You know, I got to give credit to whoever planned out that tree pattern. Cause no kidding. Just some gorgeous trees. Yeah, we have with one. Here's the beautiful place. A team of us. 71, 21, can you change my call to an investigate? I'll be clear, sir. Tell me. Yeah, if you didn't get a chance to watch our afternoon uh, show yesterday, I hate to call it show, our afternoon segment, um, we covered a lot of the homelessness stuff. We went to several of the camps, handed out some stuff, but Amber Gray, our department expert on homelessness, was with us, at least on the phone. And uh, we talked about the Bethesda Hospital, but just a good opportunity to see what we're really talking about. Here's our two off-duty deputies Very down here. Open. What's going on? Are we COVID free? COVID free? Aaron, take care of you. So, where's, where's the donuts? I wish. We tweet. Yeah, we'll get some Twinkies yet. So, which way was the shot? Just straight through there. Uh, yeah, there but the building kind of knocked. Uh, yeah. Mess with the sound, but we it was east and it was two different. It's not like a nine and either a shotgun or a rifle. It's pretty loud. Really? Like report, yeah. And in the general same area though, huh? Yeah, we're yeah. thinking Selby. That so far? As, as she was called yeah. out, the, the other shots fired. Yeah. So I called out the first one, then we heard one more. So he was getting on the air and said, There's another one. Yeah. And then there was a second one. <laughs> like mid transmission. Yeah. Is it is an, is the next door neighbor building under control? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jer Jeremy, tell, talk a little bit about the Pink Patch Project and what you've done about, you know, yeah, cancer yeah, awareness. Yeah, Come on in here. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy's our lead on a lot of things, but, but he's done a great job on our Pink Patch Cancer Awareness Program. So tell us a little bit about it. So in conjunction with the Sheriff's Office and the Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation, 
we will be selling pink patches for $10 each and then the proceeds will go to the American Cancer Especially Society of Minnesota. It's awesome. It's awesome. Very cool. It's a great initiative. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, I lost my, our sister-in-law after a five-year battle. It's, it's about as it's about a terrible battle as you can have. Just lost another friend. His funeral was last week for a 10 year battle. It's uh, touches a lot of people. Report? Yes, it does. We did, the, we did the autism society or the autism patches. Yeah, the but puzzle because patch. of COVID, we couldn't yeah. sell them to the, like, we couldn't do a broadcast and everything. Hmm. So I've got 2,000 autism patches and 2,000 pink patches that. Well, we'll get. We'll next year. We'll hit the autism hard. That's next really year. Well, next year, I'm going to do the. Uh, Western Avenue, you know, the uh, I got one, but thank you. Autism you. ones. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, in April, we'll do a big PA on it. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Looks like curfew enforcement. How old are those little ones? How old are those little ones? Guys, huh? Can't can't be out after midnight. It's a curfew. It'll be advised. Yeah, you know we used to enforce the curfew. Nobody takes it too seriously. It was a good thing, actually. We don't have anywhere to bring the kids. To uh, yeah, nowhere to take anymore. them anymore. Well, we're, stand by. Well, that one's coming back sometime. We need a place to take kids out after curfew. Nothing good happens out here for those 13 year olds. That curfew center was awesome. Yeah, it was great. So, Matt, Matt, you got anything to say for yourself? Not much. It's been busy. Yeah. The normal stuff. Job's going okay. Doing great. It's always good to hear it. So, who's got tomorrow night? Me and uh, Under Sheriff Martin. Martin. Okay. All right. Well, you guys going home now? Yeah. Or are you gonna you're gonna stop stick a car on your way home? We'll see. <laughs> I hope not. You guys we be we safe go back there. through downtown. I got the stats for you for water patrol too. Okay. So 17 drownings. Oh, you found them out. Three rescues mm -hmm. and two major assist for other agencies. That's amazing. 17 drownings. This You've year. had a busy summer. It's terrible. 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 Don't look at my time card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have a good one, guys. See you guys. I got, we got several guys like you that make more than I do. Yeah. See you guys. See you later. We saw those gangsters that were parked back here. Yeah, back behind the uh, liquor store. Yeah. Take your alarm. Once you board it back, is there any more? Nope, it's up ahead here still. Right next to the uh, yeah. Grand Tavern. Oh, was this far down? Yeah. You remember Jeff Zachman? Oh, very well. The Beat, Grand Avenue Beat guy? Yep. Here or not? No? Nope. A little further. Jeff Zockman, the infamous Jeff Zockman, worked Grand Avenue Beat. We all got to work with him a few days during our training. Right behind Perry. Oh, Perry, that's what it was, yeah. And uh, it was a great experience. He knew every single business owner on Grand. He walked up and down with his long trench coat on. You remember that long coat? That, used to those long wool winter coats? Wool winter coats. Yep. From Snelling Avenue all the way down here. That was the days where we used to have real beat officers, you know? Yep. That would be out working on the street. Is that somebody standing there? I think so, but I think it looks like their business is open. Or is that just a... No. Yeah. <laughs> just is this, is, is, Dumpster. Is this open here or not? No, they're just stacking stuff outside. I'm sure it's... It's a great hardware Tightly store. alarmed. <laughs> Cameron. And Jeff worked with uh, Paratridol for a number of oh, years yeah. also. And then you had, uh, was it, not with Brian Terry, who worked at Payne Avenue Beat? Um, 
Is it He's Terry Law? Terry Law, Terry Law, Terry Law. From the PD to the LEC. Another institution. John Sherwood was over there for a while, but Terry Law was really the original. But back in those days, we actually assigned officers just to work streets. That was the best community policing there probably was. Oh, absolutely. I got assigned to walk the beat once. Sergeant Harshman wasn't too happy with me giving a detail to the rookies rather than doing it myself. <laughs> so, true story. I mean, this is the way I think I'm, I don't know if I told this story. Have you heard it before or not? No, I have not. So, Mike Beeson and I are working. We're working afternoons. And we're assigned... Uh, to wash the cake pans and take the old cake pans up to Ruth Jeans, who's in the high rise at Hamlin High Rise. Remember that? Yep. Remember? The cake lady, right? Yep. And she would make cakes and then we would bring the cakes. Well, Beeson and I are young, hard chargers. We don't want to really be working on cakes. So we politely ask the junior guys, would you guys mind washing the cake pans and taking the cake pan up and getting the new cake from Ruth? Which they said, no problem. No problem, Mike, Bob, no problem, we'll do it. So, did you ever do the cake pan? The cake, never, cake never, pan? never got that duty. That duty. Well, it was an afternoon duty, usually. I don't know if you're working afternoons then, but you should have got the duty. Ruth Jean's a wonderful woman. She made us cakes all the time, and then, of course, we'd visit for 45 minutes while you're up there before you bring the cake back. Sure. It's about an hour and a half detail, washing cakes up there, back. And you know, when you're when you're young, when you're a young hard charger, you don't want to you don't want to be washing cake pans. You don't want to be tied up. So you, as a senior man on the I afternoons, you ask a younger guy, would you mind doing it? I was a polite ask. You know, hey, would you guys mind doing the cake run with Ruth? I said, no problem. Twenty-five minutes. So they did it. We went out did our business and then next day I came to work at 3 o'clock and there's a map there. <laughs> and I, I was the senior man on the car. Mike Beeson came on after me. There's a map there with my name showing my name on the beat be, on University between Avon and Milton. Right, <laughs> <laughs> And as I, I say this story affectionately because oh, it's Sergeant Harshman who, who was very, he became a very good friend and a good guy. Oh, so, amazing, man. amazing sergeant. But he's got me on the map there. I figured out what my number was, like 109. Hang on a second. Hello. Here at 5312. Okay, got it. Got, it. got a call on Sims. 12. Anyhow, we gotta run up front. Sure, here's a copy. 1031 Sims Avenue in lower unit. Call advised there are four parties behind the building with machine guns. Oh. Okay, we'll slide over there. Yeah, we'll Three go to the 1031 Sims. But let me finish the cake lady story while we're going there. Sure. Call so, zero. So the next day I come in and Here, I was a copy. senior guy, so thankfully Beeson wasn't punished. But he's got Fletcher and Beat. Minutes. Like, I don't know, 199 or whatever, some strange number they gave me. This two block area. Okay. So, I, I tried to find out what I did wrong. He said, hey, when I give you a detail, when I give you a detail, you, you do it. You don't pass it off on to the junior guy. So, you're going to, it happened, this is a true story. It happened to be like in August. Okay. The hottest day of the year. <laughs> the very hottest day of the year. Oh, it was never be either. Humidity was out the top. She possibly knows them. They're going to be leaving in a black toilet around four. Oh. Black, they're leaving in a toilet. Yeah, call the police is going to be stolen. Let's get it towards Earl. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Here, towards Earl. Well, what do you think? Fail and drive? 20 minutes. Information for Or, or south toward Minnehaha. I don't know. Oh. There should be enough squads over there right now to catch them. Black Rev. It's the whole 
call sounds a little bit suspicious though, right? Yeah. She does. knows them, they got machine guns. I grab more. So which way you want me to hit? Seventh Street think. exit? Let's work our yeah, way. good idea. Let's work our way up Seventh Street. Yep. We got op idea. options in. So anyhow, I'm working this beat, like a ten hour beat, hottest day of the year, two yeah, blocks. Like and, and suffice it to say, should I just put a six and get off that way? Or should I get off at seven? I think seventh. Okay. Coming so, so, and you know University in Victoria <coughs> at that time, back in the late seventies, was a hot spot for prostitution, gangs. And Tipsy Tiger? Ti Tipsy well, that's the story. The oh, Tipsy okay. Tiger was there. So it's 98 degrees out, and you know, thankfully, I had good enough relationships with people on the street like you. Um, you got it. So I go into the Tipsy Tiger. It's the only place that you can get in the in the two blocks he's given me. It's the only place you can get a drink of water or anything. Okay. I go into the Tipsy Tiger. I'm by myself. The, you know, there's guns in the Tipsy Tiger, and it's, oh, yeah. it's very dark in there. There's prostitution in there. I, yeah, okay. I had walked down the street a few times. There's nothing right. to do after you walk through the block. So I walk, I walk in there. Black RAV4, we're looking for it. Yep. Thank you, man. So I walk, I walk in there, and they look at me like, oh, I'm fudge. Okay? And I'm looking at them. It's 98 degrees out. Okay. You can copy your notes. I'm just doing it all night. Shoot the alarm. Cover the flight. I'm a young patrolman with three years on the job. I'm in the most dangerous bar in our district. And I said, you know, here's the thing, guys. Someone just said it's towards Bourne. Copy, towards Bourne. Got another shoot. So we're looking for a RAV4 that has machine guns in it that went south on Earl from 10 Hunter Block. So if it pops out here, we want to see it. Grab or a small Toyota Highlander. I happen to know what that looks like. Because I had one. A RAV4? RAV4, yeah. Well, I should say my wife had one. I had the Highlander. So I flop into the Tipsy Tiger. I got gang members, prostitutes, guns in there. And they're looking <laughs> at me like, what the hell are you doing in our bar, right? Right. This is where true community policing comes in. Okay, guys, just so you know, you. I'm here being punished. Elbow bar on Milford. So that's where the One shots fired right came from. Yeah. What's that? Car or an SUV? Oh, that's a car. Might be a RAV4 pulling in the gas station though. The older ones have a tire on the back, but the newer ones do not. Right. Not a RAV4. It's a Mitsubishi. Look at you. You picked out a yeah, Mitsubishi. I had one of those too. Let me just say, when remember when gas was four four dollars a gallon plus? Oh yeah. That's when I bought a Mitsubishi. Smart man. <laughs> Somebody shot an elbow on moving. Up here to the uh, gun check. Oh, the leg. He's conscious breathing. 32 years of age. Full for a medic. Well, we, it's tempting to run over there, but we want to keep looking for the machine guns in the round four. Right. They've got officers there. But that was a place we were talking about going by, of yep. course. Anyhow, over the, over the rest of the next eight to nine hours I developed, I got to know a lot of the people on university in the Tipsy Tiger. Okay. And we're gonna go down to uh, the bars maybe, huh? Sure. Room. So actually Sergeant Harshman did me a favor, in forcing me to go more in depth. Isn't that ironic when you think about it? Absolutely. 
thought about that several times. You know, my comfort level suddenly with being on my own in a strange and different environment was developed instantaneously. Now, they don't train people that way anymore. No. That's a Honda. Fletcher, you're on the beat. University beat from Avon to Milton. What the hell? There was always the ominous threat that if you messed up bad enough, you'd get given the foot beat on the high bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. 223. Still looking for our black Rev 4. That is next to my location. Over today, we have a male with a pretty good cut onto his hand. Uh, code 4, and we're in room 324. Have you started again for minutes? <sighs> Hey, Whitey, if you're listening, uh, you did a great job on this street. Tell your guys they did awesome. That's a Rav, I think. That's a silver Rav, Can you put in Delta? We got like one, nine, one, Maybe I should just learn one new car every day, every week. Delta, Lima, Mike, one, nine, one. You've definitely stepped up your game. I'm not sure if anybody else saw anything or heard anything, but people here are not being cooperative. Yeah, they're not being cooperative. No, that used to be my forte, not so much anymore. Well, it was so much easier in the old days before they created all these. It's very copying people in my firm. Forty-three thirty-four, copy. It's pretty quiet right. down here. Where would you use machine guns? Two one six nine four two with nine ten two eight two seven. Durango or Durango? I mean, yeah. How's it going? Carry on. What's going on? Living the dream? How's the smoking lounge out here? Peaceful. Chilly? This is the warmest day you're going to get for six months. <laughs> Go on the other way. Go on the other way. Real quick, too. Do you realize that, generally speaking, there's only six months that you can count on it being over 70 degrees? We do have medics come in here over for them, right? I think it's like October 15th, you know, to November, December, January, February, March, April, till April 15th. I mean, it's usually the high isn't over 70 during those six months. You might get lucky one day or not, but... Yes, sir. Yeah. You want to be on live? Jump right in front. You want to know what? Well, you don't have to be a clown to be on live. Well, then you certainly don't have to be out there. Copy, 365 Two current and pending and controls on the 94 east under the road yeah. bridge with the uh, two vehicle APD. I do like cartoons, so I have to say, I have to say I'm a big fan. What was your favorite? Kirby. Flintstones? Did you ever watch the Flintstones? Loved it. Jetsons. Meet George Jetson. Classics. Classic. You know Barney. Barney and Fred used to smoke when they were on the Flintstones. <laughs> she reminds me of Pebbles. 
Got got a nice smile. All right, well, we got to go back to work. Have you seen any crime? Nope. Nope. All right. Some you guys are doing a good job. Thanks for being thanks for being deputies. I moved this one to uh, to three. Okay. And I've got mine on one. Somebody fell in seven on that shot there as well. Remember when I we were up on that, that car up on the east side on Barkley where I was trying to turn around and the guy ran? Yeah. Yep. Point twelve. Copy your notes of the plane. Thank you. He's put up investigating one of our GPS locations. You know, there was one of those commentators that accused me of making a 27 point turn. <laughs> that was a little awkward turn there. Yeah. No wonder we didn't see him run. <laughs> There goes Fletcher making a 27 point turn. That wasn't the best moment in the Lawson and Edgerton just to the west. What do we got going here? Lawson and Edgerton. Lawson and Edgerton to the west have 40 minutes. Well, that's too bad we lost that rev, that black rev. For because those guys, she thinks they stole that car. They're probably still gonna pop up here tonight. Yeah, they might end up back there even. Yeah, good point. Good point. So hopefully, she, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm curious to verify you're out with that plane. Hey, I don't imagine she told him she called Copy. the police. Right. Good thinking. <clears throat> well, let's go slide by that neighborhood again then, huh? Sure. 1031, I believe. If they left before the police got there, they may not have... Seven York address right down the street from there is been hopping all the time too. Mm -hmm. the apartment complex where all those stolen show up. Yep. That's probably the best tip we've had tonight. A black Rav4 with machine guns in it. That's probably stolen. Mm-hmm. And it's a car we both probably recognize. There you have it. <laughs> $200 LVO I, I recognize it better if I had a Twinkie and a Mountain Dew. I guarantee you that. Well, you well, may have to fix that. I can stimulate your, stimulate your senses. Right at, at, at 1 o'clock, we're going to stop and check, change the camera. We're also going to put some gas in. 8195. We're down under a quarter of a tank now. The last thing we want to do is end up in some form of pursuit. Run out of gas. Yep. Yeah, that's never fun. All right, copy that. Can we just check and see if that's a recent trip? All the doors were secure when we were there. What was that? I'm not sure. Copy, I'll double check. I don't think that was a RAV. It's too big it for a RAV. It looked too big for a RAV, yeah. yeah. Three or two chicken status. It's ten, what, sixty? Yeah, where are we headed to? Ten thirty-one. This is ten sixty. So, and it was in the rear, right? I'm just gonna drive down here real quick to see what's up. Hey, we got one three two. One two four. That's the the reason for that. So if you can spot the house. Copy. I see the key holders off. You can show me back in route. Forty two minutes. Right there, I believe. Who's in this car here? Give him a light. Two nine, same traffic. Hi. Same side. Hi. Asian or? Yeah. Can you do the lights? Did you uh? Did you call the police? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. You. He's Asian, I think. Didn't I think the lady 
thought they might be Hispanic. I think it's a Hispanic or Asian. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, he was just. Uh, oh, he's, he's following one similar. I'm pretty sure he said he was behind one similar. Do you want us? Do you want us to be? Oh, we can be. <laughs> we heard something screaming. We heard some. Yeah, you do. Where are you headed? Why? You asked too many questions, and we don't have you in our business. Don't do that. <laughs> Six three one or two hundred, take four. Four. <coughs> 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 I don't know. Go back, go through that alley, huh? Just to get it orientated to where it was originally. Yeah. You know, I guess it never actually said in the alley. I might have just assumed that. Oh, he did. She didn't say behind the oh, address. Oh, she did Okay. Behind the address. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I'll turn oh, in the oh. dangerous condition on Lex. Coming from Energy Park, you're in. Copy. We're four racers in the area. One six nine Lexington Parkway reported at least 50 cars going up and down Lexington. Was that an Energy Park? The racers are? I think so. So. Is there an alley there? <laughs> oh, it's a tough Just one. from the other direction, I yeah. think. Camping near that compost in there, too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can get in behind this address. Well, it's the other side of uh, girl. 282. 282. Oh, you're right. You're right. What was I thinking? And someone has it. Yeah, can we see if a squat can go inside to reveal footage of porn? Oh, so those. Motorcycle speeding are over there. Uh, the, uh, the camera that would have got it is on the physical right it's, it's right in the uh, main area. Copy, checking the address for you. Lexington and 94 there. About 50 cars. Okay, that looked like a RAV4. About the two one blocks up. There? Yep. All right. And it had the tire on the back like you were talking about? Yeah, well, that's the 
old ones do. The new ones, I guess, they don't, but those are the old ones. One more block. No, I'm going to drive by these young ladies again and they're going to think you're stalking them. I think they said you're never getting any. Yeah, that's exactly what they said, but yeah. a little more graphically. Looking for a RAV4, that, not that Sims Avenue address. Someday we're going to ask citizens to help us. The day is coming. I saw somebody running from that car straight ahead. I think I'll go check that out as long as we got it in our sights. Sure. Is that okay? Sure. Someone ran. This is right where the shots were fired here, Magnolia and Walsh, mm -hmm. earlier earlier today. Five casings recovered. Delta November 356. Charlie Delta November of letting this guy know who we are, huh? Yeah. He hasn't really broken any laws, but just say hi. Yeah, we'll just take a look and keep driving, huh? Hi. hi. Okay. We just didn't want you to uh, think we were just some creeper behind you. <laughs> okay. Stay safe. Stay safe. Thank you. cars to sort of obviously she had a faulty muffler everybody okay very good have a good night thank you sometimes when we follow cars especially if we have some probable cause like her muffler was clearly defective we we don't like to stop people for mufflers but we might take a look What's this right that here? might be one right there Buick, I think. It's like the commercial says, though. You know? 
People can't tell a Buick. <laughs> Echo Sierra Papa 680. Echo Sierra Papa 680. That might look like a Rav Ford if somebody doesn't know one. Back the direction. Was that other lady delivering papers or what was she doing? I'm not sure what she was doing. Somebody yelling? Or is that the music? Is he back into that garage? Into that. There's a space next to the garage, I think. <clears throat> Squad, Cable Channels 1 and 2 will be patched in dispatch on console 1 for a break. 54 minutes. <laughs> huh? They must have a backup camera. Oh my goodness. See any longer, we'll be taking an axe on our course. Okay. There we go. Pontiac. Jesus, I haven't seen that car for ages. Yeah. Is she throwing something out the window? She threw something out the window, I think. I don't know why he's holding it out there. <laughs> Eight nine four. What is that? Whiskey Hotel Juliet. Yeah. 894 Whiskey Hotel Julia. Hey, look at this. I made, I thought my phone will do this. Hey, Siri, take a note. Eight nine four Whiskey Hotel Julia. Okay, I created a note. Sweet. Eight hundred ninety four Whiskey Hotel Julia. We don't have to write it down. We can talk to our phone. And I like it. that. I'm sure everybody, We're gonna be finishing up on everybody listening to us knew that already. They're done at born to But Well, I don't think most of the people listening are as technologically challenged as we are. We're going to go get some gasoline here. We're going to restart in a minute. We hope you're going to join us but we completely understand if you don't well if you don't you probably miss out on the most exciting two hours probably <laughs> I always watch it later Cadillacs that have that all the way down the side like that. I think those are the Victor 227. But uh, I don't know what kind of cars those are. Uh, the, 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 the tail lights. Oh, all, all the way up and down. That's the Escalade, I Escalade. believe. Escalade. Yeah. Then after we get gas, multiple vehicles drag racing on some side streets. We got to go stop a car. One of those speeders. Now the the drag racers are back. They're just going through the whole town. You know they did this to Minneapolis at Uptown. They ruined it for people. Yes, they did. By just dominating the streets with their drag racing. So we're gonna go get a couple of those. I got a couple extra sheriff's deputies out here tonight too. Unfortunately, one of them had a car accident, but. We're gonna. We are gonna end at 2:30, though. 
So if you if you do join us again, rest assured we're closing up at 2:30. Caller stated that they could hear somebody walking around outside. Not answering any additional questions, seeing that she was afraid and then disconnected. We're attempting to call back. Right where we were. Yeah, we... So I think somebody got shot over there. Oh, hang, oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <coughs> Hello. No. What? 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 What's the call? We don't, we don't get to eat much. No, we don't. 127, lost in Avenue. 129. Yeah, okay, good, 10 minutes. 129. Yeah, I had phone. Also, alarm. 124. 8 Street again with 2, code 4. 10 minutes. Please, no, please turn it off. <laughs> I'm getting cold too. The male victim got the gunshot wound to their leg is en route to Regions. How's it going, Keith? Fine, what's up? How are you doing? Good. Sir? He's working a little overtime or what? Yeah, you know, we couldn't get it covered any other way. So Good the you. had to come out here to cover it. God bless you. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen if something happens. We got to, no one will know who's in charge, Sheriff's Department or Police Department, huh? I'll let them do it. <laughs> more resources. You're in front, though. You're like the canary. I can move quickly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. Hey there, thank you. What are we eating? What are we eating? What do we got? We got seeds or what? What do you licorice. licorice. Red or what color? Yeah, red. That's my favorite. There you go. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks. Thanks. We are gonna get some gas. It's one o'clock and then um actually just before we pull up there, I'm going to sign off. Well, actually, Pat can do the sign off while I, while I get the gas, but you can get give him a few more minutes because it's going to be kind of boring when we come back. Eight Sound good? Sounds give good. A I've code four, but I'll take one more if you get a chance. Alright. Happy code four, requesting another squad, 2786 Street. 2786 Street. Not too far away. Alright. Keep me entertained for a little bit while I figure out how much gas to put in there. Sweater says 824. 2763. What's going on? How are you? The dog's not very happy, huh? 224 for me. Happy, thank you. So we started off tonight great guns. It was uh, very busy. It stayed steady all night. And as you heard, there was a shooting up. Uh, Zero five. Up off of Rice Street near Bourne's Bar. Sounds like the officers in the area actually heard the shots and then found the victim. Who was shot in the leg and is on the way to Regions Hospital right now. Uh, I 
gotta open my gas tank. So we started off with uh, about a half a tank of gas and we're down under a quarter now. So we're gonna fill up just in case we come across something. Can't think anything more than, more embarrassing than running out of gas if you're in the middle of the chase or on the way to a call. Still getting a lot of calls for the uh, for cars and now motorcycles also racing around town. Here's some going up 35E right now. So Energy Park Drive, there's 25 to 30 motorcycles racing up and down the street. Racing on University. Drag racing on Lexington and St. Clair and side streets. It's become a major problem in Minneapolis, the, the street racing and drag racing. Man on Hennepin Avenue over the summer was... Uh, paralyzed when a car going an estimated 80 to 100 miles an hour went out of control and hit him. So a lot of people think racing isn't all that big a deal, but it really is. It's very dangerous and quite honestly, city streets are not the place for it. Hey, for our viewers, I'm going to refer to Pat as old man because I just found out he's a few months older than me. Okay, you're going to... Okay. He's older. I thought yeah, I was always older than him, but no, he is older than me. So, God bless you, 66-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to string that out forever, I can tell. I always knew I was older than him, but I didn't I, feel the need to tell him. Yeah. Well, that's good. I made my night. <laughs> All right. Well, we should go try to find those racers that are bothering everybody. They're calling left and right on those guys. Yeah, I was going through the list of where they're calling on them. Up on University, yeah. up on Energy Park Drive, Lexington and St. Clair. It's all in the west sector, though, for the most part. Yeah, huh? sure is. Well, you know what I'm thinking right now as we plow. Oh, we gotta. Should we uh, cut this off and oh, restart? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, this is uh, this squads oh, you see in front of us are part of our security detail. We have a beefed up security detail here at our law enforcement center complex. That's why whenever we walk in or come in, you're seeing. We're checking, we have a checkpoint there. And that's unfortunately because we just have to do that since there was an attempted breach a couple weeks ago. Um, so, anyway, I hope you join us when you do come back. You know, don't be afraid to share. If your friends are sleeping, they'll still, you know, they won't get it, but they'll have a chance to see it in the morning. Right. <laughs> So we're going to sign off here, and we'll be back on within about a minute. Just in a minute. Thank you. See you soon.